All right, welcome to the OSR's podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things with RuneScape related content creators. Last video over 250 likes for the dance. Damn, boys, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Nate, bro, I really killed it. Uh, but yeah, I am Mitt Mad Cow, one of your hosts with the people down below. What's going on, guys? Riggs here as always. And Rice Club. Hello. And I'm going to be introducing these two. So we're going to be talking about the tournament today. We got Shiloh Mission right here with the blue eyes and the forehead. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Dude, I don't know why, but my stream has gone down. Oh, it's reconnected. What the fuck is going on, dude? Why is it doing this? All right. We're going. All right. And then we got Mika down here. Who uh, has just went to the bathroom? Welcome back, Nika. How are you doing? Yo, what's up? I, I'm pretty there good. I'm pretty good. I like it, dude. So these guys know about the tourney. They they know the ins and the outs, and that shit went to shit. This <laughs> <laughs> it went oh so to shit. So we got ourselves some exclusive guests here. But um, Rexy, should we talk about the sponsorship before we jump into that? Yes, we should. Uh, so uh, yeah, this um. For the next for the next four podcasts, we've been lucky enough to get a sponsor here on the uh, the podcast channel, which is Old School Runescape Yay. Best in Slot. So it is like, a gambling site. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just no, kidding. No, no. So yeah, we'd like to say a big thank you to Old School Runescape Best in Slot. If you guys are curious what this website is, it will tell you the best in slot gear that you can use in game on your account. You can even insert your own Runescape name, so it will gather the stats for you. And once that is done. It will show you the best in slot for absolutely every attack style you can imagine. We're hoping that this website is going to help a couple of you out. And to be honest with you, it's going to help me out a fair bit. So if it's going to help me, I'm sure it's going to help a couple of you out. So guys, make sure you go over to oldscreenscapebestinslot.com, top of the description for all of your best in slot needs. We will be linking this down below. So feel free to check it out if, uh, you know, you need some best in slot items. Hell yeah. Dude, we have so much to talk about though. Oh my we God. We do, we do. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I was actually speaking about this during my stream and how Solo Mission and Mika, I love the fact we got both of you on because you both have very different perspectives for this tournament. Because the way that yeah. I see it is, and I gave this example on stream earlier. So Solo Mission, you were wind and dined by Jagex before this tournament. You know, they looked after you. You, you were flown they... out. You were flown out to Leicester. What? They looked after you. So he was you. flown out. <laughs> no, he wasn't, wasn't flown out. He probably rode, he probably Wait, rode he his bike. bike. <laughs> he rode a boat or what happened there? But what I'm saying. No, he, they got he, me a taxi. He was, yeah, there you go, man. He was wined and dined. They paid for his taxi to come and pick him up. To pay for my hotel. And then, yeah. my, my and then Jagex yeah. fucked him. On the other hand, Mika <laughs> wasn't wined and dined at all. Mika was just fucked. Like no, straight no, up, Mika, you buy him up, out up to the streets. That's what happened. You got no, no special you. treatment whatsoever, dude. They just straight up, nah, they bent you over, man. They had you good. <laughs> dude, I didn't really get fucked though. I trolled people as if I did get fucked though. That's the thing. I mean, okay. Question: Who died to the poison and who just died? Normally? I just died. I just died normally, and so oh. the mission died. I, was what? I, I thought was you died in the one v ones, Mika. What happened? I thought you died in the one. Did you not? Here we go again. <laughs> Toxic guest. <laughs> Right. So yeah, Mika, explain no, the backstory. Was... Explain the backstory. All right. Of what you're the talking backstory. About. The backstory is I uh, I died and there was like ten people left in Falador before the one v ones happened and I was fuming. I was pissed. And then I, I started my stream. I was like, guys, I I died in multi. And then I saw that everyone got insta killed. And then I was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna tell everyone that I also got insta killed. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like the worst idea ever, though. But I don't know. At that time when I was pissed, it seemed it seemed like a good idea to do and then uh <laughs> and then i just kept it going for like two hours or so and then i was then the next day i felt bad and i did a video saying that it was all a joke and it was april fools uh but yeah it was like a bad idea to do and uh but yeah, and the, it's whatever who they compare you to again who they oh yeah a friend apparently i'm a new friend <laughs> <laughs> wait, how, so, wait how why yeah i don't know like it, it's just i think he really people, flamed like, on twitter like some hard uh, hard flame. it wasn't that bad but... i don't that's what you said i don't know i uh, personally i have no maybe idea maybe it was a little bit hard but i always i always flame on twitter after tournament literally like for the 13th time i don't know it's just me if I spent 100 hours, I would probably flame too. I would yeah. flame like, a lot. I was more mad over the fact that so many people got insta-killed 
uh, rather than like, I, I, it, it didn't matter that I died, but seeing how many people died like that, it just felt really dumb. And I went really hard on Twitter on the, See, at them. I was at PAX East and when I heard that, I was laughing uncontrollably <laughs> for like five <laughs> straight minutes. I felt <laughs> bad, but I thought like, okay, Jagex <laughs> fucked up every day about tournament. There's no way they could fuck this one up. And then I'm walking out and they go, you hear what happened to Dead Man Mode? <laughs> what? No. Yeah, it, it needs to we kill were, everyone uh, in the I just fucking died. I was, yeah. It was over. We were at the bar when we were watching like the finals and shit. With, like the, the main fight at the end. Yeah. And then he... Okay, okay, so I do want to talk more about the tournament. But let's talk about the in-between parts. So first, free... Torvesta. All right. How did that affect oh you two God. in your videos? In your Literally duel? every comment. Every time I stream, free Torvesta. <laughs> so, no, don't free him. <laughs> it's actually crazy to think how much impact on the community Torvesta has. Torvesta has, is like, like one yeah. of the. Yeah, he's yeah, like, he like, should have an impact for sure. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, my whole comment section, for example, was literally like, I'd say 50, over 50% was just free Torvesta. Was, uh, was insane, that was some good it? advertising for him, though. Smart move. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, kind of turned that into a it's win. I got, I had it like the first day it happened. I had it in my chat a lot, and then I just said my opinion on it, and then it just went away because I effectively said, "Look, the way I saw it, his apology video was fucking garbage. Let's be real; it wasn't even an apology. It was basically a was I was this de was this deserving of a band? Followed by." blaming other things like it wasn't an apology whatsoever the way i see it if you don't want to do the time then don't do the crime that motherfucker was muling yeah, he got banned for it <laughs> end of fucking discussion who cares whatever <clears throat> now but like you know that's basically all it is he got banned for doing something he shouldn't have and I, that's the way i see yeah, it. yeah but okay like the way i see it though is for example me and i guarantee you everyone who plays deadman mode also quote unquote mules but we do it a bit differently. Like I get, mm. let's say, a couple of stats on an account. I get like, I don't know, let's, let's just stupidly, but let's say a bit of agility, a bit of wood cutting, a bit of flanching, a bit of fire making, a bit of cooking, a bit of herblur, and you don't get banned. You just need to be smart I about it. I love the it. way you talk about that. A bit of it. It's not like a Jamaican <laughs> no. lady. <laughs> no, but seriously, like I, if you consider it like that, I do the same thing he does on his, he did on his account, but I just do it on a level 50 account and I don't get banned for it. That's you're not straightforward about it. What, what, because you're getting stats on the account? Is that literally the only yeah, difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I still keep the account like saves on, I don't really trade think, the wealth from my oh, main to that account though. But it's, it's, I still it's, very, it's very varied. Yeah, it's, it's very, very great for sure. Because that, 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 was, that was a clan back this tournament which got banned with 30 mil cooking XP. So yeah, oh, that's I, don't, I don't know oh, how yeah, they... The way, okay. that's, that's, there, there's probably a reason for that because when I play, I don't like trade wealth from my main account to that account, but I do buy stuff on that account and I make yeah, money the, with the, merching the, and then I trade from that account to my main account. So if, for example, if everything I, will get... buy, yeah. I will buy... Sorry, I will buy like prayer potions, strength yeah. potions, attack potions, food, and I will just trade it... Yeah, fuck off. That, that, I'll just that, that, we can just say supplies, dude. You're so specific. <laughs> I buy a little of this, a little of that, a rune arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Guess the shopping list out. Like. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm not the idea. Dude, you get I, the idea. I really didn't know yeah. that was the thing. Like, am I the only it's person? No, no, no. It's, it's... I never mule. I never muled in any tournament. I took my entire bank to finish DT. Whole two You're fucking too good of a person. Like, if I die, I'm out of the tournament 100%. I've never fucking muled. That's why I have no sympathy Everyone for Everyone and their mother the, the, mules. Yeah, the thing, the thing, the, the thing is, it's mean. just like the direction of where the items are going. If the items are going from your ult to your main, it's fine. But the, the moment it goes the other way, then it's like it's not okay. Like, I also now, risked everything when doing DT, for example. Or when I died in Shiloh, I lost, like, <laughs> half of my bank. <laughs> a, lot of the a lot of the clans didn't even risk anything when they were doing dangerous stuff, though. So when solo people have to risk more than clans in general when they have a clan, yeah. it's kind of unbalanced. Um, but sure. I have to say, so Solo, I saw this post on Reddit, you probably saw it too, it said, why does Torvesta get banned for using oh, a mule, yeah. but when Solo does it, he's okay? Now, how, how do you feel about that? Because I, 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 I saw that after the tournament, I didn't even, because I don't really go on Reddit, I only saw it afterwards. I, I was going two K upvotes. I was like, "What the fuck?" But like, right. yeah, I was, I was, I was like sitting in Shadow Village on my other accounts, like dangerous area, like so. It's just not the same. <laughs> so you're so saying like, that Torvesta kind of, kinda, you know, was more yeah. to blame then, since he was yeah, sitting. No, no, Torvesta, yeah, Torvesta, yeah, Torvesta was like textbook muling. Like his account never leave the safe zone. Like he yeah. gave that account all this wealth. Like he was muling. Like <clears> my accounts were in the worldy, like doing worldy Slayer and like at Shadow Village and shit. 
Oh, they, like, they, had, they, were like, they were like raggers, basically. I mean, yeah. it so, was so obvious that Torbesta was mewling. Like, you, you'd have to be an ab... Like, basically, the only way that you can... The only way you could be fooled by the fact that he was doing it solo is if you've never played demo mode. And that's for, like, every tournament he's partakes in. Like, the last, like, few tournaments, watching his videos, it's so obvious that he was mewling. Like, without a doubt in my mind. I'm surprised he wasn't banned, like, two tourneys ago. I actually can probably yeah. agree with that, yeah. Me too. It, it was so the, obvious. The thing is, though, do you guys care that he's mewling? Like, what, do you see him as a threat because he mules before clan? Like, is he actually a threat? I don't, I don't, really, I don't really mind too, too, like, I don't really mind too much, but I just think it should be consistent. Yeah. It, but, should, it should be hidden like Mika Strat where he gets to list out and he gets no, to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little strength yeah, pile. Little. <laughs> if you want to compete, you almost have to do it. Like you don't want to be wasting time in the GE buying stuff. It's just that simple. <clears throat> like the time you waste in the GE buying stuff is the time you could be training, right? Yeah. So it just depends the way you do it. Like All I right. do it completely differently to how he does it. All right. Um, I have a yeah. hard hitting question then about mealing. So are are you saying mealing should be allowed? Or should not be allowed. Just plain simple. Plain Mewling, simple. no, but playing alt accounts, yes. What is mm. really the difference? In, well, in Mewling game? is, for example, trading wealth. Let's say, like Rexy said, when he was doing DT, trading trading that to a different account so he doesn't risk as much. Just, oh, okay, just okay. So, so it's like don't do that. Making but account as a safe deposit. Yeah, option. you don't you don't do that. Yeah, See, that there's not really much of a difference. They're really no, like I don't no care difference. personally. But it is, I feel like. Mewling for solo players is really necessary if you want to have any competition. Because if you see Jagex hosting the tournament, uh, they want to build that hype up. You want an underdog. Oh, that's Mika might win. You know, a Dark Wizard Slayer. Or maybe Solo, you know, was a shot. They want somebody like that. They don't want, like, Ra to win or somebody. But how are you guys going to even compete when you don't got a mule think, or an ult? No, no, no. Right. Hey, hear, hear me out here. They that's have, a different thing, though. What happened to me, dude? What are we It's, got? it's so easy dude. right now. Like, it, when you played, I don't think there were, like, emblems. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, is that, I swear that thing on your wall behind you just moved. Is that like a massive spider behind you? <laughs> is that a spider? Oh shit, no, it's a fucking hole, dude. What are you oh, I thought it's it a... moved, dude. That's why I was really so yeah. You're gonna get my ghetto ass set up right now, dude? Come on, bro. Shit, right, okay. Uh, I thought, I thought it was a spider moving. Sorry, sorry, uh -huh. continue, continue. So to explain, right, right now it's so easy to actually not mule and still compete. If you do Slayer route, you get so many tier 5 emblems. And you don't lose them on death. So you can always rebuild like instantly, super fast. But you so, say compete, but not win, right? Okay, yeah. For for winning in deadman mode, you need to be in a clan. Like, you are not going to win otherwise. Yeah, I, I don't think it's in order to must. All right, question. So is it because the finals involves multi? Yeah, it's just because of oh, that. Oh, 100%. Okay. I, 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 would, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that's true either. I like the... Like the clans massively outgear solo players. A solo player will never win deadman again in its current form. Like, they're just... Yeah, yeah, even yeah. Even if there's one straight yeah. away. So, is it so because... mission, imagine wait wait imagine yeah. like let's say um yeah okay um <laughs> yeah it's like hard to explain list? no i just it's just hard to explain in english but <laughs> for example i think a solo player would be able to win if it wasn't for multi-part right because that's what i don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't so agree if it's one v ones okay but if it's certain items ones, you, mean, it, can talk you just get that. like barrows items you have a chance to kill someone, get his gear, and so on. If it's 1v1s, much higher chance than if it's just multi. If it's just multi, well, yeah. it's impossible. If yeah. it's if 1v1s, there's a chance. That's the two difference. But still, clans will lock down areas, and it will be very hard for solo players. I agree. We have Manked in the chat. Manked, would you like to come on and join us? <laughs> I think that would be... <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be cool? We got Manked in the chat. I mean, that'd be really uh, cool. Do you know how... <laughs> We, we, we do have a little square for him, and but do you know how much we effort do. that's going to be for me to rearrange the entire <laughs> we're, Discord? We're going to put dude. a little bird nest there, but... Um, shit, dude. I don't but know. You, I think come on, come on you know what? Wants. Let's have just Manked in the chat, and then you should show it. Okay. I think it'd be... F yeah. Manked was... Yeah, like, we'd fine. have the whole stage almost. We'd have to get, like, fucking Curtis in here. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and wait, everyone wait. just brings their friends. <laughs> the, the chat... What, wait, why is Manked in my chat? Did you host me? Just host Someone host Oh, host oh shit. Yo, thank you, Manked. Yeah, Manked, if you want to uh, come on, man, do it. Uh, he, said, yeah, he, he, said he, he said he wants to stay on the chat. It's fine. He, he can stay oh, where okay, he belongs. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Leave him there. Uh, um, look, look, the king has spoken. He wants the chat only. Wait, I, I do you know what I I didn't actually watch this tournament. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm so disconnected because I just don't like how dead my mood is now. But did Mac win? Like, 
Did he win? I was second, I think. He, he got second, second right? Yeah, he, he won. won. He won the How Tour disappointing. Course. No, I was kidding. <laughs> Ian Mary won. Oh, hey, Fools Leader. From Fools. Yeah, Fools, Fools Leader, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fools Leader right. is a cool guy. Okay. So, Respect. since Shiloh happened, do you think that's going to happen in the next tournament? And what, what do you think about clans being able to hold a whole quest spot? I think it's smart, but do you think it should be a thing that yeah, should I, reoccur? Well, I, I, I love it personally. I think it's great. I um, think it was hilarious. I, if I'm not competing, I'm all for it. I ain't got a problem with it at all, man. I'll be completely honest. Uh, I mean, the way that Dead My Mode is currently, it's obviously clans do prosper a lot more than the solo person. Like, fuck it. If they can get away with it, why not? It was well thought out. It was planned well, you know? All the power to them, is what I say. Okay. Oh, I, I need to find the pure spam video. I think he countered a clan in there. Hey, Did hey, you see so, the Ian spam video? That was sick. So, Solo, you said you didn't, you didn't really disagree. Uh, you didn't really agree with what Mika said about the removing multi thing, giving people a better chance uh, for solo players well, to win. I, so, what's your take I, on that? I didn't mind, I didn't mind re removing multi. What I was saying is a solo player. Like just cut, just I don't know. They can't win unless they're like the best PK in the in the game, and then they get incredible luck with the one v ones. So if they fight like absolute noobs, like with VLSs and stuff, in my opinion. So but I I don't think but I don't think really most make it pretty that. far. I think if you imagine, like uh, yeah, I, I I wasn't talking about straight up one v ones. I was just saying that a solo player could win if it was like it would be higher chance to win if it was singles rather than if it's multi. If it's multi, it's impossible. In my I opinion, mean, yeah, I, I, I agree with that, obviously. So, yeah. no, I yeah. do agree with what you're saying, right? I 100% agree with what you just said, but from my perspective, this is how I see it, right? The reason why I've stopped playing Demo Mode Tournament is for this very reason. I hate the multi-phase before the 1v1s, okay? Because it basically means if you yeah. want to stand a chance of getting into the 1v1 brackets, you have to ally yourself with somebody. You have to go and lick some clan leader's ass get into the clan, and pray to God <laughs> that you're not focused in that multi-phase. After 12 hours a day, minimum, for those seven It's like days, some mafia okay? shit. It literally yeah. is. That's the problem with it. Like, I, I've got no problem at all. If it was completely 1v1s and there was no multi-phase at all, I would play. I wouldn't even care if I made it into the finals. It would just be the fact that I wouldn't get one shot for a week's progress so, for like 10 chinners or 100 I don't chinners. know how people do that because most of you guys know you're going to fucking hit the damn floor in the multi-phase. How do you grab? It's got to be YouTube. You got to be going yeah, for it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, just YouTube. I play for streams, YouTube yeah. for fun. Yeah, you like, know, I, 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 I still, I still think I can have a chat. Thirty-year-old monkey, this anyway. motherfucker yeah. is evolving <laughs> with titles, dude. I, Jesus, every time, man. I'm yeah. So the final hour is two thousand people. Is it always like two thousand people? It's, oh, the, okay, it, it's supposed anyway. to be two thousand, but like, but like, never two thousand people actually. Thousand. Yeah. So how many people actually make it? It's like eight hundred in the end. Oh, it's because a lot of the accounts are and then it's like oh, okay so six. so it, it says you can have up to 2000 but really it's a like 800 yeah. right in so end, yeah. so what if you do uh the first 400 matches 1v1s and then it trims down to 200 100 that'd be like a week-long process it wouldn't be, be it 50, would actually 25. be just like for example now it's 256 in the end right yeah would it would so it be fast one more round it's like Still? One more. Oh, oh that will only be one more round, huh? Yeah, okay, you're then right. One more round, like yeah. two more rounds would be like over a thousand people already. Three more That'd rounds from what it is now, then we would have everything. You would just need to add three more one v one. And you know what they could rounds. do? They could add squad mode because there's squad mode on Twitch and have different <laughs> perspectives of the fight. <laughs> exactly. Around Oculus Orb. That'd be dope. See, I should be Jagex. What's up? Where's my mod? Come on, these are fucking brilliant <laughs> ideas, dude. Yeah, um, I but, mean, what they could do is squad up the people in the, you know, in in the what do you call it? The stage. Right? Yeah, yeah, in the stage. That would work. Sure. That'd be really yeah. cool. So I, we we're talking about Shiloh, pure spam. Ian, I linked a video down below. He has this really, I, I don't know. I think he countered the clan that was in there, or he no, was the clan that was, was in there. With them. He was with, he was us, with yeah. them, and that's yeah. just because they probably want to know what happened. So let's watch a little bit of that video. All I just right. linked it. Is there audio so they in know. this video, by the way? Uh, don't worry about it. It's just music. There's nothing. Okay. Oh, Robert said, "What's the point grinding all week if it's just one v one?" Well, that's chance what? of actually winning the whole point what the yeah, that's what's the, the point of grinding unless there's a fight what the fuck so a lot of people play for the multi <laughs> stage though like a lot of people in teams i play specifically for multi and dds everybody i love this guy dude Sorry. clans just give one per <laughs> wait hold on he said clans just give one person gear they afk all week to get max stats i mean that uh, happens every but, time for, for but me, wouldn't that make their chances of winning go down because they're only focusing on two people because like think about it this way like how much can gear and stats carry you necessarily right 
doesn't that problem exist in both multi and singles though? So I wouldn't, if you have better gear, I mean, I mean and the, a clan. This is how I see dead by mode currently, how it is, right? It's like, it gets to the multi phase. I, I think the Jagex either need to just completely like redo dead man mode completely change it so it's not revolved around multi and clans at all or they just roll with the fact that it's going to be a clan tournament from now on because that's effectively I think the what second, it is yeah. and i yeah, think yeah, that's probably that, what will happen dead man tournament is, clan, is clan man mode and like that's in my opinion that's fine like that that, that is interesting like and that. viewers in the YouTube section, feel free to comment your opinion while as we go along, dude. Because we'll be reading the comments. It's, Robert, it's enjoyable. Robert says uh, he says clans can feed five people. That's true. But like for me, I won't even play tournament anymore simply for the fact that I can't be fo I cannot be bothered getting like spending twelve hours plus a day grinding to just die in multi at the end. Like if it was single for the like all of the final players. I would take part. I wouldn't even care if I got to the finals. It would just be more fun. I don't have fun personally getting one shot in multi. But that's just me. I mean, if that's okay. what you enjoy, nah, but, you know, you guys, if you yeah. guys enjoyed that, that's fine. But for me I, personally, I don't want to waste my time. It's a simple yeah, reason. So, yeah. But the, the opposite of that is like, I enjoy yeah. as playing part, as part of a team. I like, I enjoy like the build up to multi fight and stuff. It's you're yeah, player. but like, <laughs> until they add an <laughs> elo, there's really not going to be anything solo wise. No, no, that's like, fair. It's fair out. enough, man. Hey, it's fair. Like, think about it this way, right? So, the MMO tournament is one week long. So, you have six weeks to do whatever the hell you want, whether it's single, you know, or you, you do things with a clan. And then the final hour, or whatever, isn't it okay for that to be just singles? Because, I mean, you have most of. Entire so you're saying is a clan man mode builds you up, and then you could show off your skill, and if somebody yeah, saw yeah, exactly. it, they could yeah, they could because, make it into one v ones. Yeah, but like. exactly. Because you spend you, you have so much opportunity to already milk being in a clan for six days straight. Like Shiloh, yeah. Why yeah. can't you give single players a, a shot? Right, everybody a I better agree. shot by being single. By the way, play like, play the video while we're talking about Shiloh. Do you trust okay. me? We don't even have to watch. It's just oh, like you have to capture the the sound. No, no, don't worry about it. Oh, no sound. Okay. Yeah, no, it's just a song. So oh, this okay. is pretty much clans held down the piety spot so people could uh, I'll just listen to it on the stream, actually. You're right. We can listen to it on the stream, I think. Uh, there's no sound. The party is just music, so. Yeah, it's just music. Don't with... worry. There's not no call or anything. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, it's good. It's like 300 quotes and shit. I like Look it. Look at this shit, bro. It's, ga it's, ga it's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> like the nice <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> It's a slow no, This is the battle of the bastards. Who's catching all these fucking chins, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Who's catching these chins, man? That's a shitload of chins right there. I just counted like 500. Yeah, it's a lot of chins well, lose. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exit I, in the I, game right I now. missed this fight. This was the biggest fight, and I missed it. I was so pissed when I woke up. <laughs> it's like, damn it, you took right. content. What, what I don't understand about this. Oh, did they counter it, you say? Oh, they broke They tried. They, 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 come, they come through. Like, wait, it's, it's, they, they had to do yeah, something. Yeah, they there you go. They're, they're pushing in. That's they're awesome. I like that. That's fun. That's fun as hell to watch. Yeah. It ain't fun to play, but it's fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is the whole thing down there multi? Like Look the entire that. area? Yeah, yeah, yeah the whole thing's multi. Look at Pierce down oh, with the edit, That's dude. amazing. It went hard, dude. <laughs> that has to Pierce, dude. Beautiful video. That's great. That's actually Gosh. great. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted, so people knew, camping Shiloh. It, they were there day, night, they were shitting in bags. They were doing <laughs> what they had to do <laughs> to get this done. And mm, at the end of the dude. day, I think their leader won, right? So I mean, it... it I yeah, guess it, it paid off. Paid off. I, mean, yeah. I feel like yeah. it wouldn't have really mattered. I mean, but it paid off. It, it, no, no, it, it did matter because it's stuff like Dragon Slayer 2 and like yeah. the bolts and the crossbows and all that. Hey. Like, okay, guys, never mind. I, I, have, the, a, the I have a question up. about the uh, piety thing. So, yeah. what? So, like, did, did a lot of people in the final hour end up having it or. Everyone from, Fools and, Blazers. everyone from Fools yeah. and Blazers had it. Yeah. And then everybody else didn't. Still. No. Yeah, Even after like they messed up with the gas and like I, I tried to do it the end of day one and it was already people. Already oh no! Do you, do you mean when they got given stats like the people? Yeah, who yeah. Got, they, like, resurrected. No, no. They, no, yeah, they, they they gave you a current quest that you had. Like it, the game could remember your quests or some shit. So so they just can get the piety. Either, I right? still think they did. Uh, if they already had it, if, oh, if they okay, already okay. had piety, they could get it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I was having fun yeah, watching wait. Dinner Bitter's tweets. He's like, "Oh, I can't get you like the whole week." He's like, "I'm trying to get it last hour." I'm just, I was, it was an adventure on his Twitter. Oh my god, he was so oh angry. My. He died. <laughs> Yo, I, sorry, someone just 
This is great. Solar Mission. Someone just said if Solar Mission wanted a tattoo on his I neck, know, I'm a chuck. giraffe, man. What if he chose to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Why is it too long back? <laughs> hey guys, oh oftentimes there's a camera angle. Okay? <laughs> hey, the camera angle. Not even the angle. It's hey, like... I, I'm sorry, Solar Mission. I should apologize on my chat's behalf, man. Guys, stop being so that's mean so to our guests. Funny, Chill, oh guys. God. Jesus. That's not mean. I know I've got a huge neck. It's fine. Hey, man. Look, you're just jealous. He's an H&M model, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. The best joke I've heard in a while. <laughs> you're, hey, you'll have to do it, man. You'll have to find out for sure. You should go to a tattoo yeah, place and okay. say how much okay, it cost. Oh, bloody, it'd be more than the house. I'd have to get a mortgage for it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, who's going to cover his insurance for that rose? God damn. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't know. I like there's there's a lot of issues with dead man modes. I mean, I it, we've talked about we speak about dead man modes so often on this podcast. And if there's one thing I can take away from it, it's that we have never came up with a single solution to fix the game mode. Like, yeah, no. It's it's more than I, just like one thing is going to make it better, you know. And everyone has a different I mean, opinion on it as well. It's so. yeah, a different you know opinion, what? yeah. You, you know what we. Been, okay, go for it. You know what we kind of came to an uh, uh, agreement of is that. If you want an eSport of RuneScape, it can't be through the MMO. It has to be through yeah, like a proper that's what you system. Say. Yeah, we yes. agreed on that. Yeah, we yeah, don't know I, how to fix, I agree fix that, too. that memo. And just to catch that. everybody up on the YouTube, like eSports would be uh, 5v5 teams. Or if you watch other eSports, it's very high skill players. It's not like a mass of just random assholes just running around slaying <laughs> yeah, people. Okay? You never shit. see that shit. They don't wear like phased. Or, no, they're all very skilled. They practice their shit and they actually live off their income, right? I think the only thing we have close to an esport person would be Mank. Mank, he's yeah. so many goddamn oh, money doing this shit. But yeah, you know how many times he's won already, you know? <laughs> but for real, you can't have more than one Mank, though, right? Because it's just one clan. It only has a couple people. You have a head figure. It's it's not an esport. It's just one person just taking that prize. You'd have to have an ELO system for it to even be considered an esport. True. Very true. Yeah. But you're right. The only person who would be considered like a RuneScape esport would be Manx. Like that. that's basically it. I mean, mm -hmm. and fair fucking play to him. Like against all odds, he somehow manages to get through the Morty stage. I need to. Yeah, we play that uh, blood barrage <clears throat> clip. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. The, uh, the yeah. glitch part, right? Yeah. Are you talking about the, the fog thing? Oh, you're about that thing. Yeah. yeah are, are we actually? Yeah, are yeah, are, are exactly going to play this? Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, yeah, play, yeah. we'll play. We'll play. We'll play. Okay. This is Nate right here. Yeah, dude, somebody hacked into the mainframe, bro. That's what happened over there. <laughs> uh -huh. Look closely at the HP if you didn't now, see Tell this. me this ain't the goddamn best blood bra you've ever seen in goddamn life here. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, when I saw that first... Oh, it also <laughs> heals prayer, too. What? Right. What? Uh, okay, what was, um, what was the actual explanation for that? Like, what did Jagex say? Uh, was it just a bug, or like, what's the deal? The game with that? thought the game thought that he already won and he was already put in the next round, so you get to replenish like full health and full prayer. Oh man! Why did think, the game think, I think that? Yeah, I think, think it's because I think it's because the, the I think it's because the tiles oh, wait, inside the graphical the area thing. was smaller. Yeah, smaller, the, the, yeah. The guy he was fighting stepped off the ring. I think they they said something about it. He stepped off the ring, and then the yeah. game thought that Manked automatically won. And then, yeah so, yeah. so graphically, the arena is quite big, but actually, the coding of the arena is actually quite small. So, like, he stepped out of the coded area, which meant that oh. he thought that he gets deep, like, he, he loses the fight because he stepped out of the coded area, where he's still in the graphical area. Wait, so, so you can go to the fence? Or some, or some shit. No, 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 no. no, no. Is... You go through, like, a, an invisible line. Like, the fence is, like, the fence is the maximum area, like, graphically. However, like it's, it's coded, Dude, so it's a small area within the I think you're just complicating things. Yeah. Basically, I don't know. Was, I think that's it, what it was, but I can't. It, it, I'm not yeah, it was kind of <laughs> wrong, basically. It was totally wrong. But the yeah, thing but is, it, it happened on the blood barrage, which makes it feel sketchy. You know what I mean? No, uh, it like was, it was perfectly blood delayed. barrage. But the, the, it was, was it, was it, it wasn't is... perfect. No, it wasn't perfect. One second. It just it from the normal mm -hmm. eye, you'd what be like, you don't see is that both of them actually get healed to full HP. I think. How the fuck do you see the man's fucking invisible, dude? How the fuck? Right. <laughs> yeah, let's see that. Does his opponent get full HP? So Look at his opponent's HP 53, as well. He throws the barrage, it goes to 62. So that's the, the heal from the barrage, so and you then see it just goes back. 
His opponent gets healed as well, but gets damage 25. So look at the opponent health beforehand, and then after the 25. It was full HP, basically. Yeah, you it, can literally... It, it healed both. It healed both. Oh, okay. Yeah. HP. It's just you saw it on his end. If so only yeah. the guy wasn't invisible, it'd be yeah. so much easier. Yeah, if you look if you look closely, he's at 53 HP. He throws the, uh, the Blood Barrage, and it takes him to 62. That was the hill, so that's a nine hill. Yeah. And then, like, a tick later, or less than a tick. It's just very unfortunately timed. But, yeah, and he also went to full health as well. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I mean... Damn, dude. I'm so glad that I didn't sit through this tournament. Oh, uh, okay. So there were the more than one problem. Not just the gas, but the way they coded the stage was just terrible. Do we have the picture of the two bots being in the final area? That'd be fun to show. No, we haven't, dude. I, no, just what? I haven't seen this. I didn't know about that. It's two, it looks like two U-cutter bots are in the final. They're butt-naked <laughs> little bald no, cat. No, that's because <laughs> they were trying to return the... Oh, the, no, yeah, that's the people that died They were died trying to return the people that got one-banged. Oh, okay. It happened, like, the game, the game automatically pauses if I think 50 people insta-die. I think something like that, they said. So basically, the game insta-paused. Some people were stuck in the jail cells. They could return those players. But the people that logged out, logged out, they couldn't return them. That was basically the thing. And then when they were <clears throat> transforming people from the jails to the actual, like, 1v1s, they were basically all bots. Okay, so can you um, can you explain? Because uh, I'm I'm kind of in the middle on this. I don't know everything, but a lot of people got insta killed in the one v ones, and then a lot of people got force locked, and they could log back in for the tournament. Like how'd that happen? How'd they get re geared stat wise? Uh, so we right. know the whole story. Well, here. While you explain that, I'm gonna pre play the clip so you guys can have Go for like, it. a little bit of insight into what happens. Jesus Christ! Can I explain, Mika? Mika. Mika, Mika, so Mika, you guys can duo, du duet this shit. Wait, I, mean, Mika's I, I, don't, I, don't mind, I don't mind saying. I don't mind saying. Um, okay. But basically, the area for the final final area was all gas, and everyone gets teleported in from Falador. But when people get teleported in, they get teleported at different times. So the first people to get teleported in die quicker than the last people, and whenever people, whenever fifty people die at once, the tournament automatically pauses. So some people died logged out like 50 people's worth then the tournament froze and then because there's like a lag on who gets teleported in when there's like some people left in the jail cell and so they're paused inside the jail cell that you go to when you die so then giants were able to retrieve the people from the jail cell however they can't retrieve the people who had been logged out of the game because it deletes your profile or whatever and then like from from, from the jail cell they put people in the 1v1s gave them base 94 stats and gave them a base gear setup i think so if you um, got logged out, that was it. Hey, can we get yeah, back got, to the... Like, so I, I got logged uh, out, so I was just gone. <laughs> wow. Like, same as Spark Mark, same as Abdullah, same as like quite a few other and people. And then that's why they're on Twitter like, how can we, you know, recompensate these guys for their time? And Joe's like, yo, give them a week of membership. And it's just... <laughs> 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 Funny shit. Like, oh, really? That's, gonna... yeah, that's That's the thing now. Like, we're still waiting for to see what's going to come out of it. So, Personally, yeah, severance I... Severance package... I would love if they could have like a mini tournament or something for prize money, but I don't know if that's going to happen. It would be good happen. coverage, right? You know, yeah, it wouldn't be, content, be too expensive. Like... It'd be good content. Yeah. Only thing is, you'd have the edge. It's like you'd be the only content creator making that content, right? But... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's quite a few. There's like Kemp, Kemp... no, me, Kemp Q, Spark, Mark, quite a... like Abdullah on Twitch. Like quite a few people uh... got KO'd. Hey, maybe I'd watch should... that. So the people that got gassed out like that, they should. Be automatically eligible to compete next time, right? Well, that's that's, that's they need more than that. That's though. so big. Like, so so like, <laughs> you can look, look, look. Let me explain. You can qualify in literally three hours. Yeah. Oh, that's not, nothing. So yeah. imagine yeah. You're spending like a hundred hours. Yeah, like, I, I by the way, you hours. can play the next tournament. Like, well, I will have like a year this. membership or something. Like, oh, do, do you know what? I think <laughs> like, I, I personally I actually thinking about it. I don't think that there should be any kind of um. There should be nothing given to the people that suffered from this. I'll be, <laughs> oh, no, 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 let me, let, no, 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 no. Oh, right. let, me, let me explain yeah, what I'm going to say, ass, okay? Not, not, because right. you order, guys, order. not because you guys aren't entiled to it. Because they're do. bad, dude. I, I just personally feel like I would rather, instead of Jagex giving you guys fucking a, a lifetime of membership, I'd rather they postpone the next tournament for a fucking year if they have to, until they perfected it, Okay. Like, what's the point in just brushing it underneath the carpet and being like, hey, here's a month's free membership, keep you sweet, and then, like, three months down the line, the same shit's gonna happen. Why can't we just so postpone you... Deadman mode, 
Make it perfect. Make it so these little things aren't going to happen. Because these things have been going on since the first one. Like, yes, let's see, actually wait. get this right this time. Just delete see, it. See, the thing is, they just don't invest time into changing Deadman mode. Like, Pure Spam, for example, gave so many awesome suggestions. Like, Abyss gave so many awesome suggestions what they should change. Like, even Alfie gave suggestions. Like, so many people give suggestions what they should, should change, but they don't change anything. So postponing it wouldn't matter. Because, like, they don't do anything on it. That's like, I don't know. Well, exactly. That's why. That's why I don't play it anymore because it's clear yeah, that's for, the case. Like, oh, I'm not going to promote yeah, a game for, mode which is broken and I have no fun yeah. playing. Like, that's the bottom for, line. Yeah, for me. I agree. You I know. know what? I, I, think, kinda... I think. they. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you go. You go. I think. I think they messed up this time. But when you Every when time. you think about the, the, the no 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 no, but the, the past two tournaments really <laughs> have been yeah they okay. were all right. The last tourney was the last fuck. Like like so 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 yeah, this one is like oh what can go wrong? But they they just like. They just fucked up on one, like, like, like two mistakes. I like, went to the final area. The biggest. The mistake. whole structure. Like, I, I know they were, they were just like they were just like coding oversights, but like the whole structure. Like, I think it's. I actually quite like how it is at the moment for the tournament. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I think it should. I think it should change. I think it should change a bit more. But like. Do you know what I think? I think what they've done is they've spent way too much time making... Like, to me, I think the final 1v1s, aside from the little glitch with Manx and the full HP, healing and prayer, I, I feel like they focus too much on the production and how it looks in the final, which, let's be For real, real, nobody gives a shit about the Morty phase, man. Like, nobody cares. It's just a fiesta. No, Everyone's waiting watcher. for the one. It's yeah, the yeah, same yeah, every right? time. Yeah. So they've invested and they put time into making the very end of it look great. They've got really nice arenas for the final 1v1. But then, like, it's like the platform where this tournament takes part is just fucked. It's like there's so many things wrong with it. Like, how can they, for this to be like an esport, it's like, how can it's it be acceptable yeah, for no, it to be an esport yeah, when we, there's we DDoS said, which we, happens? We can't do like, there, there was a guy that was on this tournament and I watched it and he was clearly auto switching or using that like third party client that changes your I think Mank fought versus. Yeah, thing, yeah, that's actually. Dude. It was so yeah, obvious. Yeah. He was like one tick in barrage and stuff, and he was not good. Like, it was so yeah, clear was that disgusting. a program was helping him. Like, stuff like that happening, yet it wants to be an eSport. I'm sorry. I'd love it to be yeah. an eSport because it would do really so, yeah. well for the game, but I just it just doesn't look professional. The next time you know? Dead Man happens, uh, Mank's going to have, like, a jersey with, like, Doritos on his fucking shit. <laughs> and, like, fucking Toyota. <laughs> and he's going he's gonna to be the only one sponsored. Everyone gonna else is going to be, like, butt naked. And Solo's going to be up there. He's going like, to wear, like, like a NASCAR forehead, suit. Dude. Yo, NASCAR suit, dude, with all the sponsors. I think yeah. also, when it comes to, like, DMM... Oh, it's our want... podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, but Sorry, no, like, see? for example, if you want to keep... That, uh, like, um, if you want to keep the Deadman mode multi parts in, right? Because a lot of clans want that. There needs to be something done about like Friend Finder and shit like that. So, what yeah. you can do is force everyone to only be able to log into Deadman mode from the original client. Then you can actually prevent people from being able to Friend Find Snipe you and stuff like that. Hey, before um, they do that, though, they have to add some features to the, to the you know, official yes, client. Yes, true, but true, but like even if they don't like if it's a competitive tournament make it fair for everyone you can't use like op clients that show you how long the opponents are frozen for and shit like that just force everyone that they can only log in through an official client and yeah then you can yeah, have yeah, a yeah. fair environment for everyone uh that's like the first thing that would probably needs to be changed and also in the past there was like all the names were randomized and if they could do that again like oh, the first yeah. tournament mm -hmm. that would then Make it so if they want to keep the multi fights going, all right, go for it. But for example, like I know for a fact, I always get targeted by so many people in multi phase because um, people just friend find you and it's nothing you can do about okay. it. But if they yeah, forced everyone okay. to do that, then higher level people would still be able to maybe sneak in the 1v1s and actually be yeah. able to like compete. I agree. I think they should just yeah, have regular yeah, clients for the whole tournament. Yeah, that's right. true. Now that's a you know, somebody clipped that honestly. That's right. a very good point. Yeah, but I, I they are going to take that yeah. point and shove it in their ass. So that's the thing. This is never going to be yeah, that's the sad part. They yeah. just they don't care. Rune light, whatever auto. I thought I got auto switch the other night, dude. It was insane how fast that combo goes down. And he was talking shit while doing it. I was like, I know you're doing this. He's talking shit while clicking. Come on, this is some bullshit. Now, sorry, I'm getting a call. You guys were talking about they put too much into the production of Deadman Mode, and I was I want to oh. talk about the casting, the commentators, because it used to be Skidler. Oh man, I, do and, you know what? Uh, I, I genuinely yeah, feel yeah. like in this last tournament, I watched like snippets of it with my friend that doesn't even play RuneScape, 
And while all the like mess ups were happening, they had those commentators. They were going for twenty minutes, and they were just talking absolute like they were just the MMO filling. podcast. They, yeah, literally. <laughs> and I, I said to my mate, I was like, "Oh my god, can you imagine cast in this tournament? It would literally." <laughs> I'd, I'd have been there as soon as I saw another fuck up. And as soon as soon as half of the population died to gas. And the camera came on me, and I was like, <laughs> I mean, like, I do not get paid enough for this, dude. Like, what do you say? Oh what God. the fuck are you supposed to say? Yeah. Like, half of the tourney got wiped up by gas, and then you're just supposed to put a smile on and be like, well, it's going great, guys. Yeah, the tournament is fantastic. <laughs> like, man, they do not get paid enough. They, I hope they got Here, paid like 20 grand each for that. Seriously. Here's Spam being yeah. great. I have to ask, though. I like Mata. He's a, he's a great guy. Great content. Great JMod. What is he doing up there? <laughs> he's not a PKer. Oh, it, what is he? What, what? Get Skidler. Get I, a PKer up I, there. He's I a good like, guy. But I mean, I feel like having a Isa up is fine because he can provide like okay commentary aside from the game. But when it comes to like actual one v one action, I think he shouldn't be the shot caller explaining what someone is doing because yeah, some fights he was explaining what Mankt is doing and he was explaining it completely wrong and it was a bit cringe to watch. <laughs> okay, but I like yo like, no hit either, but. Come nah. on, it's a PvP thing, man. You know what I mean? It, it should be PvP. P this is the only thing that we get is a commentator own shit. You know, that's let let like like a rot member come in, fly him out, get him yeah, on the nah. <laughs> I personally really loved when Skidler was uh, shotgun. Like he was, I in my Skidler. opinion, he did amazing job. Like sh like casting in general. Like I remember, uh, I don't know when I made it pretty far. He was. Like he explained really, really well, like everything someone was doing. He was explaining why someone is changing his gear, why someone was throwing barrages, what was someone trying to do. Like it was really good. He, like in my opinion, he was shot, call shot calling the best. Yeah. When he got kicked off the casting team, I, he said on mm -hmm. Twitter, he's like, thanks for the opportunity. And I'm wondering, because Kidler puts a lot of weird shit on Twitter. Just the other day, Ryska was like, um, eh, look at this. And it was Kidler puking into a sink and it was full of puke. <laughs> Like, and he just, you think, <laughs> like, what, why did he get kicked off? There's got to be a reason, because he was great. I think... It must have been something in that line, I guess. I, 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 I think that if Jagex, like, want this to be taken seriously, and I, I can say this hand on heart, I've got no issue with anybody that's ever commentated for the tournaments. In fact, exactly. I get on well with, I've met every single one. They're all lovely people, okay? But if they want it to be taken seriously... It doesn't have to be somebody like, you know, from an eSport commentary sort of side of things. Like somebody who's like into League. You know, the way they commentate on the League of Legends eSports, it's done so for mm -hmm. professionally. It just needs to be somebody who is very knowledgeable about the game. Like that is key. And they have to also be professional. Those two things are key. And yeah, that's not going to be easy to find. But if it wants to be taken seriously and looked, it needs to, if it, if it wants to be taken pro professionally and it looks good, it needs to be a mixture of those two. You know what I mean? Well, who do you think would be a good commentator then? I, I mean, people are saying I, in the chat, Bodhi. I don't. I, Bodhi I, talks really well. I don't I think, think we should it. vote. I don't think it should be us that decides. It's not a voting. But... I think it should literally be a case of, hey, there's a job going to be a commentator for demo mode tournaments, and then do tests for it. Like it shouldn't. Just I think be it'd a be thing. Like it really I does. Know, I, think that's what, I think, so. I think that's what they did do with Revan though. Because he's like he was yeah. like a professional shoutcaster yeah. or whatever, and he's got a cladding history. As exactly, well. he's good. He know he's very knowledgeable. He's professional. He knows how to commentate. Like he's very good at what he does. Not taken away from right. anyone else. I also think Ian's very good because Ian's, Ian's professional good. and he knows a lot about the game. But for everyone loves Ian. Dude. Yeah, I, I don't think it should be a case of like voting for someone. It should literally be a job. It should be a job for somebody. You know, no, like, I'm not saying we, we vote, but let's something fun though. Everyone just. I'll start, and then we go down the line. Who would you like to see commentate Dead Man Mode? You know what I'm saying? I would like to see Monty. Donato! I would like to see Monty, dude. Oh, for the finish let's, let's ask the chat. Let's ask the chat. Chat, who do you think should... Who do you think should commentate hypothetically the Dead Man Mode? Silent Core. I, I met Silent Core. I don't know. Someone said Jebrim. Same for the... Uh, <laughs> Jebrim, yeah, oh, surely, bro. Bro. <laughs> for him, dude. He'd be sitting there with his hair, just looking at the bag, bro. Odor block, oh, skill uh, specs again, abyss. Skill specs is good, dude. If abyss, I could choose, maybe I would, I would, I would bring back uh, Skidler and Ian. I think that combo was the best, in my opinion. Yeah, it was. All the friends. tournaments, I think it was good. I think uh, from they all were the really tournaments, I feel like, yeah, I feel like they did the best yeah. job at it. It's because they have really good chemistry. Uh, I remember yeah. the first time, first time I met Skidler and um, Ian, I said like. 
the performance you guys give on your commentary almost reminds me of Ant and Deck. Now, uh, Rice and Ree. Uh, sorry, Rice and oh, Deck. Yeah, we're not going to get that. So, Solo Mission knows what I mean. Like, Ant and Deck, they're these yeah. two big celebrities here in the UK. They do, um, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Like, the chemistry they have is fantastic. You know, they just get on really well. You know, they, they bounce it around. Nothing's unnatural. And that's the way that I saw Skidler and Ian when they commentated. But it, it just depends. Like, it depends on what Jagex want to come from Demo Mode Tournament. But the way things yeah, are going, I, I don't see it being an eSports. So I, I, don't I feel like the uh, ca the commentary isn't, you know, a, the big issue, obviously. You know, it's just the way the the Demo Mode set up and their oversight. It's a huge issue because that was like, it was a Demo Mode podcast. That was the most of the content was a content. Yeah, okay. So you're saying they talk too much. Is that what it is? Because no, I, I no, it's because there wasn't a lot going on. They didn't know. How to... Oh, they, okay. they, they, I watched they, they a lot of filmed. tournaments. They were fit. It was good. Yeah, it but, was good. Yeah, at the same but... time, I, when I was watching it, right, like a lot of times, I was like, I'd rather just watch them fight. But they they spent so much time talking, and it's like just not showing the fight. And I was kind of they like, don't know how to run a tournament. Like I've watched League Overwatch tournaments, and they always have filler. They have player stats, right? What if they had Mank up there? How many kills he had? You know what his weight was? You know, just some dumb shit. They used to have <laughs> it, right? <laughs> Like, I don't know how many girls in they love to just come up there, right? To fill in the time that we, you know, what clans are joining in, how long they've been, just really nice filler. Because I saw they had those animations. Who gives a fuck? Little, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that Little animation, stars. dude. I could dude. make that shit. Let's get some stats up there. Let's get some filler, uh, some background commentary, some lore, right, to the clans. Because I think then if you have lore, you could get behind them and yeah. actually root I'll for them. I would love it if there was more clan info and stuff like that, but I think a lot of the time it's quite difficult to find. Yeah, you're saying <clears throat> more more personal research into the players so that they can talk about the players specifically. Well, when I watch like yeah. an Overwatch tournament, they'll be like, uh, "This guy was just r routed to this team, right, or scouted, and he's playing this player, and he mains this." And so yeah, while in okay. between fights or in between some downtime, let's be real, there's a lot of downtime. The commentators don't be like, "Oh, no, I gotta," they have something to entertain, maybe some sea shanty in the background. It'd be nice. Dude, okay, be... there's just no personal association with some of these people that you're watching. It's not right? ran well. Yeah, it's yeah. just well, a yeah. bunch of, like, the room looks nice, and that's it. Uh, well, yeah, that, that's, that's like the, the trouble. difference. That's the trouble with demo mode in general. Like, with All-Stars, yeah. they could do that. They basically did All-Stars. You just um, described All-Stars, pretty much. But, like, exactly. All-Stars hey, was more all -Stars relatable. Yeah, mm -hmm. I liked All-Stars more as a But they can do that with clans. Some issues, but it was, yeah. it was definitely better. I, yeah, way, it had brackets, and it had, like, I, one dude, ones. That's I, how I gotta be, yeah. give some love to Manx, man. Like, I love it because you see everybody on the stage, everyone's like, you know, everyone's clean cut. <laughs> I'm this, depressed, this, man. This dude, this dude here is wearing like his hat backwards. This guy's like a cool kid. You know, I don't know, who is this? Is this Psych? Is that his name? Yeah, like, he's, got, he's got his flat peak backwards. Everyone looks clean. We got Mr. Blue Eyes over here. Curtis, very Holy shit, so I was wondering what that forehead was. Look, look at that fucking just, just, just look at this majestic oh God, man in the back. middle. Mr. Manked Up Magician. With his that man's full beard fucking, hits his nipples, dude. Yeah, with his full neck beard. This guy gives zero fucks. This guy is about the game. He's about killing people. Right. This kid here is too busy looking at himself in the mirror, man. Mank doesn't give a shit, dude. Like, check it's it out. Game. Full Thanks, fucking neck looks. beard with pride. He literally does. He gives zero fucks. All he cares about Here's is claiming game. that let's, money. That is it. Let's play One, this game uh, in the I, chat yeah, here. What does Mank's neck me. beard smell like in this clip here? Go and chat. Let's see. What, oh what do you God, think that smells dude. like? I'm oh, guessing like... beans, maybe? I don't know. It's breakfast. <laughs> British breakfast. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. It's British breakfast. They don't got beans in there. But... Lemons? Like grilled cheese. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Dorito is a Mountain Dew. Clam chowder. <laughs> like, I, I love chowder. it. I, I, I was watching, uh -huh. when I watched a bit of the tour today, it just made me laugh because everyone's made themselves look all presentable. And then there's just this beauty in the middle. Manked up mage. Looking majestic as ever, dude. Star. I fucking love, yeah, he's the star of the show. There's no doubt about it. I love this guy. Yeah, man, he's, he's right. won like twice. He's going to win a third one, right? He's like, going to win every time. Let's just be real. <laughs> But yeah, uh, what is this clip, by the way? It says Mika actually going insane. Oh yeah, that's okay. that's him laughing. We, I don't think we can hear it. Hear it. <laughs> no, no, the shit. Twitch can hear it. Twitch can hear it. I want to hear Twitch. it though. Okay, okay, okay. No, have you seconds. have you played? Have you watched the Twitch? We gotta right? watch. Play this. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna listen to this shit. Mika right. has one of the fucking worst laughs, but I love it. 
Do I get a shake? <laughs> you, hey, Macy, you, don't, you don't have to share it. We can just hear it on the Twitch because you're just. No, he shared. He shared. I, I've shared it oh. already. So we'll oh, okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> one final to watch. One is one final to watch. Momentarily, we have. Wait, is that you laughing in the back of that clip, dude? Oh, this is your clip. Oh, he's gonna say that's loud as hell. <laughs> Six hours later, still sitting here in the sofa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're loving it, man. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah, the man. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. My life is fucked. Jesus. Yo, can we watch a skill specs clip now? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Skill yeah, specs this... right here. All right, this is a really is good it? one. I love this. Yeah, Mika's got insane, dude. Right, I, I, I all the way. six Blast days shit. twenty hour demo mo turns so, you into Mika. Don't do it. A backstory for those of you who are watching the podcast on YouTube: the clip where people died from the fog. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what happened to Skill Specs, right? He died to the fog. Am I right in saying that? He got jagged. Yeah, he, okay. yeah, same as me. And <laughs> fair, fair play to him for saying this on the stage. Like, you know, big props to him for saying this. I yeah, love respect. it. The, the way that he did it was great because you can't, it wasn't like coming from a dark, bitter place. It was coming from a very truthful place where it's like, how the fuck do you sugarcoat that mistake? You know? All right, skill specs, another unfortunate story for this dead man tournament. Look at his face. What happened? <laughs> uh, I got jagexed. <laughs> I, I feel sorry for Chris Archie, dude. Like, look at his face when he says that. Uh, I got jagexed. <laughs> just look he was right at the camera. Is this the yeah. office? Like, <laughs> like, look at that. Dude. Like, he, he knows he should walk away at this yeah, point. Look, look at him he grooming. Should just continue. Like, he should have just, he should have tapped him on the shoulder at that point and said thank look you. Look at his facial expression, dude. Oh Chris, my god. Uh, He's like, yikes. I mean, I, yeah, no, 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 no. Like fourth time now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I would, <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna be oh, the fourth time. The best stats I've had yet. I don't know why the interview I does. I'm just I know, why they should have done. <laughs> in the old service. But it, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Always next time. Uh, we really we really appreciate you here, Skill Specs, honestly. There's always next. All right, Skill Specs. And Dude, we got a solo one. Solo was uh, being real nice, I believe. Is that that was nice. You can just read nice. to say. I don't have it. It's my first time me. on stage. I'm like, oh. <laughs> right. uh, I would do the same thing if I No, I, we don't have one of. Uh, if you can find one of Solo Mission, I'd like to hear right, what he has to say. Mine won't be clips. Why not? Yeah. Why, why wouldn't it be clips? Because <laughs> it's just like generic. Because he was super I'll, nice. I'll he was it. like, I love dying to gas. It was fun. <laughs> it, was, it was an enjoyable <laughs> process. I'd love to come right. back. Again. <laughs> this, this was my <laughs> favorite. Like this, this was probably the best thing that came from uh, the, the tournament that just passed. I loved seeing this clip. I was fucking crying when I watched this. The first oh, yeah, time. I saw it. <laughs> He's just peace out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. That's the funniest shit ever, man. It, it's like breaking the fourth but, dimension, bro. Just escaping the tournament. You're just telling they the went to like, you know, I've had you, enough of this, dude. <laughs> you know, they, went to, they, went, they went to the Shiloh Village bit. Like, there was two people there, I think. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm surprised they didn't die to fog the minute Shiloh. they tellied out. I think, like, I, think, I think they just deleted the fog from everywhere because they knew they fucked up. Because they wanted Dude, to imagine if he won just being there. Imagine if he won just being in Lumbridge. What if so that was week three two. Yeah, it just yeah, yeah. This guy. <laughs> and it was actually Wooks that teleported out. <laughs> right. So oh, I, yeah, here we go. Wait, you can go back to that. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah I was gonna <laughs> say. I think at this point we should uh we should have a look at Jagex's response to obviously the whole. Do you uh, want me to read it or I mean, they didn't? If you want to, man. Properly, yeah. I mean, like by the way, I should probably say we say this a lot because we do have a lot of laughs and jokes at Jagex's uh, expense, like. We do care about the game. It's our number one priority. But there's some things you just have to laugh at. You know, like that dude home yeah, telling yeah. that shit's funny as hell. There's no, <laughs> there's no sugar coat in it. And they did mess yeah, up. But yeah, Mint, if you want to read this, dude, go ahead. Okay, man. I'll just read the first part here. Uh, Since the Deadman finals on Saturday evening, we've been investigating what caused the issues and we faced during the tournament. It was only once we had a solid understanding of the events that we could share any information. And this news post will share information. Okay, the first part's kind of boring. All right, firstly, apologies are due. 
Oh, look at that. Players who have invested considerable time and effort saw their progress undone in seconds. I think that happened a couple times, Jagex, in the tournament. We returned to the office today, and we spent time identifying the exact issues, what caused them. And then pretty much if you click the log, they just have all these timestamps, I believe, of everything that went wrong. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah. Really? You gotta oh, click, on yeah. click on it. Click on it. I, I've God. clicked on it. You, you can see this, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can see it. Woof. Oh my god. That's yeah. 38, 930, 1013, 1106, 1248. Chapter 2. The look day when of it, Look when it Look when it started, and then look when it finished, and then try to oh, fill in so the long. void. They had, they oh had an god. issue every <laughs> single hour. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. We spent the budget on the stage. How can we fix this? Right. <laughs> <laughs> 115 AM GMT. The tournament ended with no further issues. Well, yeah, the tournament ended already. No. And then seasonal couldn't start until then. So, yeah. by the way, I think we've probably shot the tournament in the foot. How's seasonal going for you guys? I forgot about seasonal. Oh, yeah. That's okay. yeah. How's it going? Wait, what? <laughs> You, you asking me? I thought somebody came in your room. <laughs> what I'm saying? No, no. <laughs> With me? Because <laughs> I said, "How's it going?" <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd know it to my. But yeah, I'm play I'm like kind of playing it casually, like just to fuck around a bit. I probably won't make any videos on it. I don't know. We'll see. No are, videos. Are people playing what? it? Like, how many people are in these worlds? It's, it's like really dead. I don't. Mean, it's like already. Not, yeah, I, I said two days. Like I'm gonna die. die. It's got two, I see two Robert running around with BDS. Or... <laughs> I mean, I think the main issue with seasons is just how dumb it is to PK with all the caps. It's just not enjoyable. And everything is so expensive. I don't yeah. know. Like, it's nothing to accomplish anymore in the seasons. All right. Mika, like, you're trying... all right. All right. What? Everyone else likes to. The... Well, not a lot of people like the no, caps. No, no. But you're you're getting me wrong. Hold on. You want to PK... Right. PK with 65 capped stats. It's like you can't kill anyone. That's the, Man, that's the with... point. That like, it's true to an extent because of black D hide, etc. But if they took out some of that dumbass shit, I think low level cap PKing, if certain armor wasn't as powerful, it could actually be pretty fun. They said they just can't sh make items have different stats. That makes sense. Like two separate. I don't values. know. Like I, in my opinion, they have Angela. changed. They they're trying to change. They like. They, that they tried changing seasons so much and it, they just made it so boring like there is no incentive to play the game at the, at the, like right now unless you need yeah like you need like something to make a lot of money then then you can go pking and then you need to pk in like a, on a regular spell book and a lot of people don't like that mm. and it's like really hard to make money it's really boring to pk with this like capped stats and then by the time it gets to an interesting stage which is <clears> for me for example when you get like ancients let's say when you get blitz when you get barrage whatever at that time like there is nobody playing anymore that's like two weeks in yeah like if they want to have it pk only at least make it so i don't know you get 294 magic super fast if they are really trying to make it private server like right just i don't know like I don't know. It's like XP right now. Yeah, stupid. yeah. Right now, the seasons are so boring. You play it for like I don't know a couple of hours. You want to go PKing? There is nobody to kill. The whole reason why Deadman mode was so fun to play back in the day was because you had so many people playing and you, people were online all the time because there was something you needed to do. If there is no caps, people play your game all the time. It's like what? going to Link's Titan and telling him, "Dude, you cannot play so much. You're getting too much XP. Here, log out for ten hours." You know what you I mean? You can't tell him that he would slap yeah, you. Well, there you go. Like it's like <laughs> they're making season so boring. It's really like it's What if know. what if they did this? So they they heightened the caps, but they made everything else hard. Like they made items harder to get, but really easy to train your melee. And then to qualify, the skills would be the same ten times. But so people wouldn't really be mm. too fearful of dying, but they also wouldn't want to lose like a DDS or just like mystic robes or stuff. So that'd be slightly harder to get. But the stats would be super easy, and then people just be PKing all the time. Hopefully. So well, when it comes to qualifying, the way it is right now, it's already really dumb. Like yeah, you, well you, you wouldn't want to do like super dumb, yeah. you know. So people with, maxing out with seasonal. Like I don't know if it's like public knowledge, but I'm pretty sure it is. They've pretty much catered seasonal towards the average player. You know, yeah. Person who works. That's I think wrong in that moment. No, I, I I personally I think that on paper it sounds right. It, to have yes. the tournament for those people who can play, you know, between 8 to potentially 15 hours a day, 
seasonal just for the, the average casual player that can only play a few hours, which works on paper. But when it actually comes down to it, what keeps Dead Man Mode alive? It's the streamers and content creators that are playing it and effectively promoting it. And if it's not streamable and fun for the streamers slash people that are content creators, there isn't going to be any promotion. So it's kind of backfired. Like, I think yep. on paper, right. it sounds <clears throat> right. But when it's actually put into like practically, it just doesn't work. Yeah. You so here, here's my point of view, right, on, on like how they're doing the seasonals. Because I remember watching the first two like seasonals, you know, like when Bodhi and stuff was just killing 20 people an hour. It was actually insane. But like... So I remember people complaining after a few seasonal iterations that they're like, oh, it's so pointless having to qualify every time. You know, it's so like repetitive. Can we just get that part over with? But now you're saying it's like, oh, now it's too easy. So, so it's like, you know I mean, you just can't seem to have either side because people complain both ways equally as much as it seems, right? So I, I, don't, I don't know what this, like, I, I feel like the flow of, transitioning from the tournament to a seasonal and then back into a tournament is so scuffed it just yeah, doesn't flow well at all i it agree because like the thing is you have that one week build up you get that amazing account for example from a content creator's perspective and then you have that really awkward final hour where usually you get killed in multi and then you're supposed to hop from that when you're max stats max gear max everything into back from level one exactly <laughs> like fucking right. mithril gear nobody wants to watch that and then it's like there is no room for like a break or for like a refreshment so you go from max to basically then you are kept on 65 stats so imagine you have one place where you can like PK in max and then the next day your best PKing is like 65 attack strength. I totally like be for them making it into a watch. private server for seasonal, right? Items are super easy to get. It's just pretty much slapping ass the whole time. You do some clan events. It shouldn't be stressful. I feel like seasonal is almost stressful in a way to where if you go out and PK really shit gear and you can't get a kill and then people start tag teaming behind trees, you're like, ah, it's kind of kind of gay. I don't want to play this shit. Yeah, it's right. kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they want to make it like easy for a casual Joe to play it, right? But right now, if you're casual, you're still not going to be able to fight the PKers because they're going to have VLS, Zuriel yeah. staffs, uh, everything, and they're going to fuck you up, basically. And what's, I, I, I think Devon Mo can never be casual friendly just because yeah. of the nature yeah, of the game mode. And if, 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 yeah, if, if it ever gets casual friendly, it's not Devon mode. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. that's true i mean i think yeah. i think jagex should yeah. uh take note of other games and what i'm spe like specifically talking about <laughs> i think they do but they don't do it well <laughs> well I, I if you look at like league of legends for example me and mika we can throw backward and forth on this because we're, uh, we're both challenger players we've we've been uh, around the bush yeah you're challenged all right we're, we're challenger uh, man we're, we're like we're up there if i'm a cutie pie mentally okay. challenger yeah <laughs> But um, <laughs> no, like they, they they have fun modes that come out occasionally. So I'm talking like Earth, Nexus Blitz, and so on, right? So they have these fun little promotional game modes that come out, but they're never out for too long. It's like with Taco Bao out in America. They they bring out like a special item and then they take it off the order. After Taco like Bao Wow. Taco up, Taco boy. Bell, right? They have oh, like what? They, you know you know how they have like special promotions for these crazy tacos that are like made of chicken and stuff, and then they remove it after two weeks. It's because the hype is big for those about two games, weeks. Dude. No, all right. I'm just trying to give a comparison. Taco Bell. Oh, <laughs> I love I'm it. I love it. I'm trying to give. I'm trying to give a comparison. I get you. Though. I get I'll go you. Back, I'll go back all to right. a game okay. so it makes more sense. Like League of Legends, they have these fun game modes, and then they take them away after a short amount of time because people don't get to a point where it gets bored. Like it's not. It's no longer tiresome or like it's not tedious at that point. They tease you a bit. They take it away while it's still good. You know, and then when they bring it back, you can't wait for it. Now, what I'm trying to get at is all we have is the basic RuneScape game, which we all love. It's the same as the the usual League of Legends map, and then occasionally we get the same promotional game every few months, which is Dead Man Mode. What if there were breaks instead of it being Dead Man Mode every like three or four months or whatever it is right now? It was something else, some other kind of tournament, where whether it be like, so smart. whether right. it be something like All Stars, or whether it be King of the Skill, or whatever that skilling yeah. thing's called, or whatever, you know, just honestly, something like different. Some wait, 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 honestly, like we already had things, but just imagine you did it, like let's say, uh, every three months you did Deadman mode, then three months later you did uh, the Wildy Wars, then three months later you did like a clan event, something I don't know what they have, like when they, the what's it called when they EVM do called. 
for example, PVN Cup, for example, and then three three more um, months and you do something else. And with that, like it would, I don't know, I think it would be a really cool thing to just yeah. like keep things refreshing. Exactly. Like, okay. all right, look, yeah. weed in my pancake 420. You just said no, just fix dead man mode. Right. I don't think you understand what I just said. I, I'm not. I, I don't think there's any one thing that's gonna fix dead man mode. But I do yeah, feel we've like we've already come to the conclusion. I, I, I the feel like button. I feel like if they took dead man mode away for like a, a serious amount of time and just allowed us to recharge and actually look forward to the like the shitty grind yeah. and the fog killing us and shit, it yeah. might become enjoyable again. <laughs> do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, we gotta look forward to that, huh? For real, like just, just think about how repetitive it is. Dead man mode tournament. Four it's times like Iron Man. a year. Four times a year, dude. It, that it just gets repetitive. Man, it is. It's sure. too. It's too repetitive. Variety. Like if you look at other games yeah. with their fun game modes, like look at what's that game? Over Overwatch? No. Is it Overwatch? They got some good hentai. Yeah. Yeah. O one. Overwatch. They they have like a different game mode like every week or like every day or something ridiculous. Like you ain't getting bored on that game. We have the well, same. Well, they have to though. Well, why can't Jack? Because the game's yeah. dying. Well, Jagex has too strong of a damn player base for them to actually worry. It's like, oh, we can do whatever the fuck we want. They're still going to be chopping their U's and slaying their little fucking slave people. They got to play our game. You know? They don't They don't feel threatened, right? Like, if they did, Dead Man Mode wouldn't be a fuck up. PvP would be fixed. There's there's no threat. They're doing all sorts of shit. And that's fine. But t -boss boss. we just, yeah, we just love the game so much that they, we give them way too much leeway, right? If any other game that wasn't loved as much, one fuck up and they'd be gone. I mean, I've seen games start up. They have a bad patch and they die. One bad patch and the whole game dies. How many bad patches has RuneScape had? Yeah, but every hey, man, patch that, almost, man. Yeah, but that doesn't <laughs> it is not justify dead, dude. Them, that doesn't justify them getting away. I mean, I'll be honest. I feel like Jagus. It doesn't got lucky, justify. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's Jagus got long. lucky after ELC, bro. Because like, if they didn't bring back old school, I don't even know where Jagus would be right now. And that was a real bad oh, patch, yeah. and but they're still doing it. You know, that was a real so, bad so patch. It's important, it's important that, you know, they get as much feedback. I mean, you know, <laughs> how they filter yeah. that, that's debatable. But they need to get that type of quality feedback that they need. Yeah, and also, forward. if I may, just back quickly on the point I made, all, all jokes aside, like, how do you guys feel about what I just said in the sense of, like, instead of having dead my mode every four months, it would be like on a rotation. It'd be like demo uh, mode, then something else, then something else. What do you guys think about that suggestion? It'd be nice to look forward to. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to be honest, I mean, <laughs> like if if you can even trim demo uh, from four times a year to two times a year, so it's every six months. I think it'd be a much better pacing. You keep, you give people a lot of time to just kind of reinvigorate themselves. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I think. I think I agree with that. Like I've always said, Dead Man twice a year, PvP ELO final twice a year, but like superseded, so like every three months, and then with some other King of the Skill and other shit in there as well. Like I'm all for competitions. I just want like lots of competitive shit. What I was hoping okay. for is that you guys know how Dead End Mode repeats itself every seasonal. I was hoping yeah. for maybe they could do um, different variations of Dead End Mode. Maybe one Dead End Mode, all quests are unlocked, 50 base skill, you start out max cap 80 you get ancients you fuck around every time you kill something it drops something nice maybe it only lasts a week maybe it lasts a couple more you know just something different so that people who are content creators people who want to actually enjoy the game in different ways could have something to look forward to instead of the same grind like we're talking about yeah i, think, I brought that back a couple seasonals ago but now it's pretty much dead so yeah i think i think as well like you could vary up like if you drastically changed the each season of dead man mode maybe every three months would be okay because i i still look forward to the tourney every three months like, yeah. I don't think that's going to change, but like I'm in a unique position of being in a team and stuff. Yeah, like imagine like, like, so Zerik and robes are everywhere, and are, are, are we, claws day are, two. Are we all on the agreement that we can't see demo modes becoming an esport? Yeah, think, we've we've definitely I, I, hit that on the nail. The guests, yeah. how do the guests oh, feel about yeah. that question? The way it I is really right need... now. Okay, go for it. No, no, you go, go. All right, the way I oh, see it right now is. Um... Uh, it, not in the current stage. Like they either need to go in one way or another. So they either need to keep it multi only, or they need to go one v ones only. That's the way I see it. But if you go one v ones only, then there's all sorts of other problems that occur, like feeding someone or whatever. Then you would have to have like maybe a like a single area only game, like no multi zones. For example, if you have a no multi zone, then why are you laughing? <laughs> I like your voice. That's why. <laughs> It's like, it's no, like, like think about your videos but live. No, continue, man. I'm curious. Keep going. Keep going. Fuck's sake, dude. No, like if it was, if everything was singles, 
if you go in that way, then you can make it. Oh, I can't be serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> then you can. Then you can have it. Yeah, then why you are we laughing? Like I don't know. Or just fucking make everything multi and go completely the other way, and then have it as an esport that way. Or you just don't have it as an esport because it's fucking so, shit. So, Mika, you still yeah. think that there's potential I think for it, it to be? There's yes. Hope? I think it, it was only singles and one v ones. I think it has potential. Yes, but I think like PVP Elo, for example, would be way better. Yes. For, yeah. Uh, okay. Sports, okay. For example. Then Demo. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, me too. How about yeah. you, right, forehead? Yeah. Your turn. <laughs> no, no, it's not yeah, forehead, I... dude. It's neck, man. <laughs> no, my man. It's forehead alone. Yeah. He can only, he can only have one abnormal. What, 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 what if everything's <laughs> big? What if everything's just big? I'm like, <laughs> <that's> five. <laughs> I like the one. Guy I was like, he's <laughs> never coming on again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We, we no, I, so, I, so no, I'm I, gonna see you on Monday. That's my food. I am seeing you Monday. Yeah, order, 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 guys. Who's okay, talking? Awesome, awesome. Sorry, Nick, oh, my God. bad. Um, I, I like how I like that there's Devma mode. I like that it's different, but I do agree that there should also be actual esport, actual five v fives, one v ones, and that should they be from like some sort of ELO yeah. system. Yes. I, we just, we just. I think everyone in PvP is just crying out for that. Yeah, remember we we literally had a podcast where we talked about a yeah, I know, or something I know, yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Did you guys That's remember like, the five v 5s where they go into the voice chat and that was so it was such a good stream and it was such content. They'd be like, blah, 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 and they would just be yelling and shit and they'd be <laughs> doing five v fives or twenty v twenties and I I that is some professional shit because that's yeah that that, that would be so good. Out, call outs, skillful tanking, yeah. one shotting, yeah, all you, sorts of things they, you can work yeah. on. And it'll get yeah, rid of all the muling and all that stuff. Too. Sorry, and I invite people to play on stage at like the top 60, yeah, exactly. so it's no, there's no clients, no DDoS in, none of that shit. Yeah, and no third party abuse, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 I, the, I would love We've talked about this before, game. though. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. We, I mean, yeah. they haven't heard it, right? I guess the Twitch viewers haven't, but we, we've no. okay. thought about this. You yeah. Know, yeah, we've yeah, we have it on our podcast. <clears throat> Like yeah, the, the thing is, so like when it co- when it comes to demo mode tournament, like I would love it to be an esport, but I think realistically, it's a pipe dream because yeah, like, no, if you watch, if you watch any other esport, have you ever seen a team or a player disconnect from whatever game it is and the game just <laughs> continue playing? Like, I've seen it once. My, my we'll point... see us go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but my my point with what I just said is that that doesn't happen in other esports. And there's yeah. a good reason for that. It's because they're all under the same roof, okay? Exactly. Like, they can't have the 2,000 people that qualify for demo mode tournament under the same roof. So there's always going to be problems that can't be solved in-house. Do you know what I mean? It's like if somebody yeah. leaks their IP and they get DDoSed or the internet just goes down, whatever. That or someone's using a third-party client to, yeah. you know, do exactly. all that shit. 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 And so, using yeah. multiple accounts to mule, like, you know, in- that's just not... In terms of an eSport for RuneScape, I think the the best solution they can have and something which would potentially work was if they did bring out an ELO system and say they took like the top 100 players or something or they had it divided into like 1v1s, 5v5s, 10v10s and they took the best like 10 or so teams from that, whether it be solos or teams, whatever. And then yeah. they were to bring them all into one place for the tournament where the whole thing can be monitored it's going to be completely fair nobody's going to dc nobody's going to have you know something like a third party client which is giving them a huge advantage yeah. if they are they're going to get caught doing it that is something which would be regulated and could yeah. easily be transformed into an esport so long as enough people cared about it do you know what i mean because like do yeah. you think sorry you keep going you got right. a thought going on my bed. Right, so yeah i'm on a bit of i'm on a train right now so like um, yeah with like PvP All Stars, obviously that did really well and it got a load of views. It was like fifty thousand viewers for the entire what was it like eight or ten hour stream, right? But I feel like part of the reason that was successful was because there were a lot of big content creators that were taking part in it, such as like Boaty Adam. Adam probably brings like ten to twenty thousand viewers just from being in any tournament, right? Probably so what, more. Yeah, exactly. So if say he wasn't in the Elo and he didn't for whatever reason make it into the tournament whether he didn't want to partake or whether he is washed up, however you see it, um, <laughs> would people still care about people who aren't necessarily content creators? Like they, they'd effectively be people that they don't know. But at the same time, if this tournament were to keep on happening, the same people would get through because obviously yeah. they will be the best. And eventually people might start to care. You know what I yeah. mean? So I think, I think that's realistically how they could make it into an esport. 
But it would uh, take I'm wondering time. though, other esports. So they got houses for esports. They got sponsors, bitches, right? Do you think RuneScape could ever get to the point where you're literally clicking a mouse and you're getting cars, bitches, fucking sponsorships? You have jerseys. People are flying uh, you out. Well, it depends on think, how popular it gets, right? Because once Mate gets sponsored by Taco Bell or Taki Bell. Um, that's when we made it, all right? <laughs> but I don't see that happening. I really don't well, see that happening. Here's, that can never be an eSport, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dem- demo, mode, with demo mode, that's not happening. But with a proper ELO system, it can happen, right? Because we talked about, like, maybe racking into different combat brackets, right? Like, uh, the, the low, mid, and high level. And also allowing people to queue up whenever they want to, like, actually fight in a proper, like, fair match, right? And then... Yeah. Whoever wins, they get like some sort of elo points, and then they they get higher and higher ranks, right? So I feel like that is better. That is much better. There's actually esports teams right now that get paid um, a yearly salary, healthcare benefits, and then they win on top of tournaments plus sponsorships and their Twitch. Okay, I feel like that can come later. You know, I feel like that can come later. I don't think that will ever happen. I I want it to. No, no, no. I I feel like we shouldn't worry about that. Yeah, that is what esports is. It's professional gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professionally, you don't go. Oh, yo, I just did a tournament. Oh, I gotta go work my. Think about it this way, right? Uh, Let's see how it works. Let's use another game that like got popular and became like you know a, a giant among esports, right? I don't think League of Legends when they started the game thought about like professional esports, right? I, oh, I yeah, think you should take a. Did. I, I don't know, man. When you're starting off, like how far do you expect to reach, right? Well, they copy. They pretty much you know were a copy pasta of um, what's that other game that's Dota. like uh, League of Legends? Dota, yeah, and Dota was huge professionally tournament wise. Yeah, but like time, okay, let's so. use Dota. I don't think when they started, they would. All of a sudden, well, just be like, oh, eSport, yeah. right? So think about it the same for RuneScape. If you create a proper ELO system, then if it gets popular enough, and then Jagex sees that, oh, by justifying and in, in, in incentivizing people to get better by offering them certain rewards or whatever for healthcare, once it gets popular enough, it makes sense for Jagex to do that. Yes. But I as want of right now, dude, yes, before, before, exactly. we even start, before we even yeah. start talking about there being like a pro phase RuneScape clan exactly. or whatever, yeah. they, need to, they even... need to iron out the, the foundations. And yes. as soon as that's exactly. up and going, everything else can build up after that. But yeah, there's a lot of ironing. There's... Oh, there's a yeah, lot. Dude, a lot. There's, there's like a, a few of... rooms filled <laughs> with iron that needs iron. Fucking servers, rune light, world hoppy. Fuck, I gotta use two arms here, just fucking... <laughs> it's a lot of but, irony, man. But I think once that's all ironed out, then yeah, sure, they, they could take it more seriously. Like, because the thing is, like, 30,000 is a lot of money for an individual. Like, I would not complain for a second when in anywhere near that kind of number. But for a team, yeah. it's not enough. And in the grand schemes of things, for esports, that's not really a lot of money for winnings. Like, Tyler1 no. did his tournament and gave away, like, 50,000. And that was a dude that was a live streamer. We're talking about a Dude. company. There's a big difference, right? But once everything's ironed out and everything's like plain sailing, it's all going well. They can up the money, take it more seriously, and they know exactly. that you know, right. like they, they don't want to just give away money to people that are cheating and stuff like that. If they never do that, okay, first obviously not cheating, you got a lot of iron, but they have to raise the prize pool after they iron it out. Because just to put on perspective, me and Rice snuck into a Twitch party. Right, where it was only a couple few people commentators. And we're talking to this girl. She placed 16th in a um, Blizzard tournament at PAX East, right? Uh, no, no, it was a Magic of the guy. Magic, right? sorry. Well, what's Magic going by? Blizzard, I believe, right? Or no? I don't know. It's a card, it's a card it's game. It's a card game. Who owns it? How much did they win? $8,500, and they were flown at a hotel. Damn. 16th place. And that's not even like, you know, that's not even Fortnite status, not even PUBG, H1Z1, none of that shit. It's the, the tiny... You Wait, know how much did you say eight and a half grand? Yeah. Oh man, I'm playing the wrong game. What am I doing? Right? <laughs> if you're trying to get professional in any game, RuneScape is not the game. Manked is fucking amazing, but let's be real. If he took his skills somewhere else and that strategy, he'd be a millionaire, right? If he had a clan behind him in another game, or he just kind of built himself around it, you have to actually enjoy this game and then want to really force yourself to become professional somehow. Every other game, it's much easier, uh, even if you're just mediocre. <laughs> to to yeah. make so much more money, even see us go, even see it, everything, man, for real. Okay, 
I mean, it, I don't know. Not even close. I, I think that for the passionate players who love the game and are like truly good at the game when it comes to hybrid and PKN, etc., like the money shouldn't really be a factor. Like I, I know we're sort of folk fixated. On I know, the I whole, agree, but the whole esport teams and stuff, and I, I agree. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. They think... gotta set this. Yeah, the they, got, they just first. they just have to sort the foundations out and see exactly. see where it goes. You know, just because that might not necessarily happen doesn't mean that it can't be an esport. It might just be on a lot of a, it might be a smaller scale. It might be a seasonal thing. Do you know what I mean? It's not the kind of thing where you'd quit your day job to be able to compete. If that's what I'm saying. Well, but because we'll we were talking about the demo tournament, and we all know it's not an esport, but we put in perspective. I think last podcast, if a whole clan got all their members just to go work as many hours as they did in demo mode in a regular job, yeah. and then combined their money, they <laughs> would have more money, and they would actually all get a split. Instead, they take like 12 18 hours a day no those fuckers get a split they like end up in a video of one chin thrown and that's it Whoa. you know they don't hold on, hold no on. Oh, we split there no, we do split yeah so I, you... I heard that you said yeah. on the stage that you were getting a split how much do you get yeah well it's a split was a split depending on how much you do during the week so are you gonna say so that... how much you were split or I, 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 it's not decided yet but it'll be a couple of hundred dollars yeah oh well, obviously, yeah! Obviously that's, that's... <laughs> RuneScape champion, couple hundred dollars for a couple but hundred hours. Not split. That's like that's like literally just blazes though. I don't think the other clan split. Not I mean, I, mean I, think, I, think, I think good job. I think, but... I think falls like stick the money towards like cruises and shit. Yeah, man, yeah that's amazing. That's awesome. That's it's so fun cool. to see. Yeah. That's so but... fucking cool. I, I want to be in falls, but I don't speak Finnish or whatever. Do you have to speak Finnish yeah. to get in there? Um, yeah, I think you have to, you have to be Finnish. I think that I might be wrong. If anyone in the chat can correct me, but there was a team back yeah, in the day. I think day. so. It was uh, Team Unlimited, which was a Finnish team. And it was like, I, I always wanted to join Team Unlimited. Old school. I'm talking like 2006 single hybrid. Sounds like an anime. They, dude, they were they were the <sighs> papas of East Dragon. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they, these were the bad boys, man. One, two, sixes, Arims, Whips. <laughs> you know, you looked up at these guys like gods, but you couldn't join unless you spoke uh, Finnish. They wouldn't even look at you, man, which sucks. But I, I <laughs> what about think Venezuelan? That, I think Fools is like the evolved version of Unlimited. I might be wrong. I'm gonna. We're actually gonna see Fools Justice on Monday, Solo. So we we'll have to ask him. But I think that's yeah, really cool him. if it has ask evolved be on into Fools. Podcast, dude. We can ask about those yeah. plans, bro. Because that's actually Rot is. I'm gonna get hacked and DDoS for this, but it's kind of a thing of the past. Fools kind of just claimed their cheeks for real. That's what everyone's talking about now. Is Fools and they're a respectful clan, which I can get behind, right? I just you know invite me on a cruise. That'd be great. Can I do <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's also something that we don't see very much. Like the fact that this clan, they put all their money together in like a fun spot and like fly all their members out for a cruise. Like that's amazing. Yeah, because so didn't fun. Rot like funnel the money up to the top people and then they split it and then no one got... Fools will actually take you boys out on a cruise and they'll work on teamwork and strategy and plan and they held down Shiloh and like there's so much going on there. I... I always, I always said, yo, Rot, you missed your chance. You could have sold a shit ton of t-shirts. I mean, I would have bought one. You know, little black dude of little things. Yeah, like, like, they could have made millions off those t-shirts. Yeah. It's over now, dude. dude cool, when Rot was hyped, they could have sold some merchandise. It would have been fair, Rot, too. You know, I would have bought some fucking Rot. I'm not a big fan, but I would have rocked that shit. Just for the memes, dude. You know? Guys, guys. <laughs> we have, I don't know if this is legit or not, but we have Fool's Leader in the chat. He says, some yeah, UL... That's, that's him, that's him. Okay, some UL joined Fools after they closed. That's cool, man. Unlimited, dude. I always wanted to join Unlimited, but they... I'm English, dude. They wouldn't take a second look at me. I feel, dis <laughs> I feel discriminated against. And we'll I would do say... Unlimited UK I, version. I, I, would I would have liked to make like a UK single clan to compete against UL out of spite for not accepting me. But the truth is, you guys, your internet was just far superior to us in the day. Back in the day, guys, like the Finnish PKers were the most feared because they had like 10 megabyte upload or something crazy. <laughs> you know, they were the technology beasts, advances. Dude. They were I good, know, man. They, they always they had like that the edge. Art. Yo, Lucky Meek, are you this. there, by the way? <laughs> Meek, are you <laughs> with your food? <laughs> this man chubbing <laughs> down for 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm eating, <hitting>, mate. <laughs> Fucking Christ, <laughs> dude. You there? Okay, so I gotta, I gotta ask you guys, since you guys were both on this. No, sorry, Meek. <laughs> Sorry, but you don't even have to be here for this. Um so solo, how was the stage presence, man? Was it awkward? Was it fun? I actually, 
I thought I would be more nervous than I was. Like, I, it was, it wasn't actually that bad. I, I enjoyed seeing everybody. Like, it was interesting to say the least. Like, I don't, I don't think you understand how much gears into this in terms of production and stuff. Like, oh, that's what I think. Upstairs. The only thing that goes they, into it is production. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously they took it. They took us upstairs. It's like twenty five I mean, computers wrong. and stuff. Like, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was nice to see everyone as well. You definitely get well looked after by JX and stuff. So, yeah, I that's couldn't odd. really complain. I, I think there's, a, there's a lot of um. What's the word? There's a lot of, like, I, I'll give you a straight up example. This isn't me calling anybody out or anything, but there's a lot of um, information that's out there that's wrong because Jagex really do try. I saw uh, Sears' video. You guys know the YouTuber Sears. He was on the podcast, yeah. was it last yeah. week? Um, two weeks ago? Three, that was Nate yeah, I, like, I watched his video and pretty much everything he said in his video was a fair point uh, until it got to the point where he spoke about a few J mods going back to the office to fix the issues in demo mode. That is completely wrong. Okay, that's not how it works. All of the J mods are there at the tournament, and it's all behind the scenes. They're all there working on it. Mod Ash it, was eating nuggets in the office. He could have. Yeah, it, it, it's not. <laughs> it's not like it's responsible not responsible like, for that. No, I'm just kidding. It, I just not like, it's not like something goes wrong and they're like, "Oh shit, we didn't expect this." People better go back to the office. The whole thing. It's a big production. Like regardless of how it turns out, yeah. it's a very big production, and it is taken seriously. It's just things do go wrong as we can tell you know some things yeah. shouldn't go wrong but they do it's just one of those things only, it just happens yeah only kudos they can give jagex right and not in a hard way is that the production is always you know there's more to be done but the production wise is very thought out it's very nice you got a theme going on they got the zoom in cameras you know they just have to have some in between to make it feel like an actual tournament yeah their but, appearance is good it's yeah it looks professional until you got the whole chat foreheading and free tour vest <laughs> you know <laughs> Uh, but was anyone panicking while you were on the stage? Like you probably saw some well, faces, as, right? as in when we got gassed. Yeah, every, well, like, they, yeah. They, didn't, they, they, they didn't really know what, what went on. So some JMods, because I was recording, I showed them my recording. And then, yeah, I think they were like, I saw Mom Mike, Mom Mike Cage just on the phone, like trying to sort some stuff out. <laughs> like, but yeah, they were, I don't know. I, I feel I feel like it's times of the essence, isn't it? Like the game was bit, like paused, like it was all offline. Like I, th I, think, I think they were a bit stressed, but. Because you were there time. firsthand, so you probably yeah. hear some some back whispers like "Oh fuck, dude" or something. Yeah, you like, know, we, going were, on. we were just we were just like because they weren't even they weren't uh, having the cameras on us. We were just like walking around the stage. Like I just went over, looked at like I looked at where all the other guys were in the game and stuff, and like saw like how the team was doing and all that sort of stuff. Like walked had, had a chat with my girlfriend. It was offline for ages. Like I was just walking yeah. around, had some you food, just, had a drink. Oh, you you brag about you? a lady? Yeah. What the hell? Look at that I old flex, flex, dude. Flex. 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 Wow, flexing on all our virgins over dude. here, dude. Come HMM on, bro. You got, got Mika right under you. All right, come on. Like, maybe Mika flex. is the Mika. Bro. Mika's my girlfriend, yeah. I dress him up. He's you can do better. You, you, guys, you guys like <laughs> push it together all the time, man. Yeah, subtle flex. Yeah, dude, just fuck my lady, but we were cool. What's her name? Oh, How, what's she like? Is she a nice girl? Bertha? Doxa. Yeah, she's a nice girl. <laughs> I can stop. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, wait, no. Solo wait. Mission is in a relationship. Wait, hold up. Solo Mission is yeah, the kind of that, guy that... Yeah. Dude, Solo Mission definitely flexed his, uh, his max kick to his... <laughs> he <right>. flexed <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> That's not Dude, I was watching a solo <laughs> video, and he turned on his webcam, <laughs> and he was flexing about his looks. Oh, you didn't expect <laughs> me to be this <laughs> pretty, <laughs> huh? Oh, what a <laughs> what a expect my leg to be this long. Yeah, right. oh. I, I bet you he was oh, like, God. look, to his to his girlfriend before she was his girlfriend. Look, he's like, you see this neck? Not the only <laughs> it's not the only long thing on my body. Also, <laughs> tape in the back. She calls him the giraffe, dude. She oh, he gets God. in tight crevices. Oh, and, oh, man. And, and the blue eyes is. Dude, you got a lot going for you, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of jealous. I'm, we I'm wearing my RuneFest t-shirt, by the way. We've all got this apart from Reed. I thought I'd get, Sorry, not I Reed, thought get, I'd get a t-shirt for playing on stage, but I didn't get a t-shirt. So you got some fog. <laughs> <laughs> I, got some, I got fogged instead. <laughs> you should get a t-shirt. I got fogged. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my like, t-shirt should say, I love fog. You know? 
There I'm you a go. Fuck, yeah. yeah. Well, at least my now, character dies. at least now we know if solo missions videos deteriorate and go downhill, we can blame the girlfriend, man. She's the perfect scapegoat. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. It's true. We'll probably flex about it on a video. Yeah, yeah and, you know, and then we'll do a podcast on it. You know, bad relationship. Yeah, man. Oh, you, should, you, should, you should make a girlfriend <laughs> reveal video. And then, like a week later, you're gonna have to tell your audience. And it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be no, the it be It should be Mika, dude. The Mika, Mika in a wig. Mika. I've seen yeah, Mika. Yeah. He's a cute dude. He's a. Yeah, I, call, I, I, I didn't call expect Rice a lolly boy. Him, like... Mika's also a lolly boy. They both. They both look like. Uh, dude, Mika's, they're little lolly boys, man. Mika's adorable, yeah. man. What's a lolly boy? I want to see what a lolly boy. Right? You don't want to know. Don't want lolly boy. Mints into some weird stuff, man. You don't want to walk into weird. Oh, no, no, me and Rice were in Chinatown, right? And there's all these beautiful Asian ladies. And Rice is like, look at all the eye candy. You know, he kept saying eye candy. I'm like, dude, you know, <laughs> Asian women, they love young looking men, right? They love lolly boys. And you are perfect. You go, I got to grind, runescape, right, dude. Then. Yo, it's all about the grind, man. XP ways. And dude, Mika, dude, Mika, he's so adorable. He's like a little teddy bear. He's a, he's a lolly boy, too. You got two lolly boys I down fucking here. hate you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just oh, listen to this shit. Now, wait, Mika, do you, oh, you have God. a face reveal, right? Like, I'm yeah, he sure. did. It's a picture. <laughs> okay. We don't have to show it if he doesn't want it, but he no, does no, look no, really no, cute. Fuck. No, yeah, it's no, he's cute. You gotta play with the cards you were dealt, my friends. Like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> I, I, dude, with that accent, real, man. you're cute mm. as fuck. I don't see what the issue is. Put your cam on, dude. Come on, sell yourself. Yeah, I don't have a cam, dude. Yo, peer pressure. <laughs> Not buying so much goddamn pizza, pizza, damn it. <laughs> last, I don't buy it. Last week, you it. probably got like a million views from YouTube. I'm sure you can afford a 50 pound webcam. Hey, man, his <laughs> pizza is fucking about tight. $2, all right? It's, it's a hard enough life, man, all right? Uh, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable in front nah, of the camera, fine. so that's why I don't yeah. do it. Hey, that's fair, man. That's, that's it fair. builds that's character. Fair. It builds character, man. I had to be called ISIS yeah, 400 does. times to feel comfortable. So I'm fine. <laughs> and, and he still grows out that beard. Yeah, yeah dude. All year. All year. It's, it's going to go that, down that, to my crotch. That majestic beast of a mm -hmm. beard. Yeah, women don't like that. They like lolly boys. So you guys got it going. So uh, okay. Uh, so are, are we going to talk about more Devin mode or you guys want to go off on tangent at this point? Um, well, the tangent's always good, but what else is there to cover oh, on demo? I have oh, updates. Can we do the Thursday update real quick? Just some small stuff. Yeah, there's some updates, some really good updates, actually. Yeah, the, the clan okay. chat one's nice for those of y'all that I think know. I linked it up above. Yeah. It's the second um post right there, the forum post. Oh, wait, which one did you say? The, I, the treasure trial. No, that's I think it's the first one, yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, or you want to do some Q&As for Twitch chat? There was a few interesting comments that I saw. Yeah, that sure. Was, uh, well, we knew I saw some interesting ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to read the toxic <laughs> ones. Like... <laughs> some really intriguing <laughs> things. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay. Are we talking yeah, about want... this one here? You want me to read some of them? Yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> okay, so uh, Salty Saltery said, they all, they also said in demo post they did skip the QA knowingly. Since they've done demo for so many times, this is literally the weirdest part about the saga. I like the saga. If you have... E ECP in the field, and you know you need to test a product. Then how the fuck do you skip it? So, so yeah, I, I heard that on a Twitter. Yeah, they did say on Twitter like they didn't do a QA, right? Because I heard about that. I'm not sure if that's, true, but I think that's. She just had a beta, like straight up, like that. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna yeah. do it every time now. Like, there's Is no way they're never gonna have a beta that? again. A yeah, beta? They actually, uh, uh, you know, oh, beta. Let's say beta. I, I like beta. beta. That sounds much beta. better. I like it's, it's better. It's where you fucking live. Like, yeah, like exactly. Beta, See, okay. Solmish understands. I like but, a beta. I like yeah, man. I like this. Who they would, need to do a beta. Who would die first if a zombie apocalypse happened? If we can change that question to who, oh. would, who would die first if a vampire apocalypse happens? Solo How mission is man. That cool He's got a zombie. neck. Dude, those those <laughs> vampires are born solo, dude. He would be first on the deck. Oh, It'd be prime pickings, yeah. dude. Oh, I, I, I would rebuttal that back oh, with he's got a lot of neck, hey, so he's got a lot of blood you, in that. You, you he might live a couple attacks, bro. You, you, can, <laughs> you could probably have like three look, or four look, vampires vampire, on there, man. Vampires wouldn't it. like it. They, they wouldn't like it because it would take it would take too long for the blood to reach there. You know, dude, this motherfucker pale like, as shit. He yeah. probably is a vampire, dude. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like this. <laughs> He's the one that sucks the blood, dude. Oh Come man, on, they, man. They, exactly. They, I feel like we're getting on you guys. They'd make you into a vampire yeah. just because you have such a neck, man. <laughs> they'd be like, you deserve <laughs> to be a vampire. One of the boys. I love how your Easy. brain works. I didn't even connect those dots. That's, that was instant, dude. It's like an instant. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. We, yeah, we yeah. I agree. We should do a beta. They should always do a beta. I don't know what, why they don't. 
Like I, I that that's most, definitely most like have their beta fault, you know? beta beta servers or test yeah, servers. Exactly. And RuneScape doesn't have that. It's fun as well. I I enjoy playing the yeah. uh, the the oh, beta. <laughs> yeah, the beta. <laughs> it's a beta, beta man. I like that. Um, all right. Well, you guys keep asking some fun questions. Let's go over these updates. There's some pretty good ones. Um, I don't know what this first one is. Treasure Treasure Trail expansion. Uh, yeah. Um. So they're working on a bunch of expansions to uh, all the clues. So you're gonna get some new rewards and shit. You know, nothing too crazy. I would I would guess. But there is a new third age set though. And that's reminiscent of the old, Ooh, the, uh, the old Druidic set, yeah, which was the most expensive set I think still in, in our. Street. I think the, the first one set. looks the best, and the other ones look. Uh, yeah, the, the other ones are not dark days. They're just uh, easy, medium, extra rewards. Like for example, the Pierce. They're getting like a garbage. boot that's getting that's giving you like two strength bonus or some shit. No defense requirements. So that's actually uh, interesting. Like climbing boots? Oh, yeah, shot. I think so. Dude, yeah, it's like climbing. Yeah, that's shot. what I want to jump oh, in. Oh, that's yeah. perfect. Okay. There's two updates. Well, three, kind of. Yeah, the, yeah. Ones, the biggest so. one's a clan chat, honestly. So they're adding more to the treasure trail. So that'll be cool because usually when you do clues, you don't make any money anymore. It's just everything's so there, right? And um, that'd be nice. But they're finally fixing oh. the world hopping bug with clan chat. And this has been such a big problem with rev caves because you'd switch worlds. Everyone's a white dot. You kill your own teammates. It's over. Oh, yeah. Actually, the, the new boots from the clue scrolls is four strength. So it's going to match deep boots, but no defense requirements. So it's like a buff for, I, th I guess, pures. It's a buff oh, for pures, yeah. yeah. They, they Those are going to go for a lot. Yeah, they, they didn't mention pures on the poll and it finally passed. Yeah, no, they, they smarted it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but think about it this sure. way. Anybody can benefit. They make a new account, they can buy those boots and use it right off the bat. That's one damage right there, guaranteed. So, I mean, everybody benefits. Oh. Okay, so do you guys yeah. want me to read this clan chat world hopping bug? Yeah, that's yeah, been going on. Hit it up. Okay. Yeah. We are aware that there's been an ongoing bug that has sometimes removed players from the clan chat after hopping worlds and delayed them being able to rejoin. We identified the issue and deployed a fix. We shall continue to monitor how the world hopping behavior affects clan chats to see if it has resolved the issue. The nature of the problem meant it could not be consistently replicated, which caused the fix to take much longer than desired. Apologies for the inconvenience. Okay. Well, they fixed it then, by the sounds of it. Or at least they know what the God, issue is. It was is. such a long time, though. Holy shit. But is it fixed, though? Or is it just... Yeah, I, we tested it last night <coughs> with my boys, and we were having a good time. We actually smited a sniper clan's AGS with uh, an R teams are just a bunch of fletchers so that's hilarious but <laughs> yeah i have I, mean, I, I really yeah. needed this fix though for real man i hate not being in my chat like my clan chat randomly right yeah, that's good, good. Yeah. uh and yeah. then there's something about attack style change which uh what i don't know what that is feel free to read it if you want all right a while ago we made a change detailed in this post wait yeah a change detailed in this post that causes all weapons with their weapons type to remember the attack style that was set all right, um, by the way, also, side note, this isn't a riddle. Remember, like, the other podcasts the other day, they writ something in, like, riddles for us to, like... Yeah, they did out. a paragraph thing for a thing yeah. that they could have done in one sentence. I I'm glad yeah. that they haven't done that here. This makes sense. The old, school the old school wiki team have created weapon types page to show all the weapons under each type. This will allow you to check all the weapons you have are set the way you would like, would expect, particularly useful for purists. Good stuff. Anyone affected by a bug related to this update causing them to gain unwanted XP can submit an account help ticket for the issue. That's good. That's very good. That is good. Relating to that, which is, doesn't really relate to that, last night I had a dream. Uh, one of my viewers lent me their account, <laughs> right? Right. And I could not stop getting defense on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt so bad. I'd be streaming and I'd be like, I'm like, what's going on? And I get a defense level and I look at my channel I'm like, Dude, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, okay, let me try again. And another defense. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. And it was the. That's I got him the 40 defense. And like, oh, 42 defense. That's no, yeah. I felt, hey. I felt so bad. You hooked him up with a room here, dude. Grats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guy was so angry at me. He goes, "Stop playing my account." And I'm like, "Dude, I'm sorry." Soon it's gonna be a barrels pier, dude. <laughs> So and I woke up really it. sad. <laughs> Didn't you get two defense on an account though? I saw on Twitter. No, no, that was an April Fool's joke that oh, everyone okay. fell for. Oh, My I whole chat's it. like, nice no, two defense for it. I'm like, dude, that was some Vegas Photoshop. It wasn't even good. Was, mm -hmm. <laughs> fell for that shit. 
So easy crab, dude. Easy crab. That is all of the updates for that. Uh, all of these are like a little while back, so uh, yeah, not really update updates. It's just like small fixes. I like that. I prefer they just fix real problems you know, than yeah, trying to good. cram more shit into the game. That's good. I think you that's guys what we talk? All enjoy. Hey, are you guys interested in talking about the mimic boss that's gotten some controversy that's coming out soon? Uh, is the, the, is that the that, clue that, scroll that, boss? Or? Yeah, that is a part of the clue scroll update that they're trying to do. Okay. I have, I have a Twitter I post about it I, if you want it. I, I thought it was an April Fool's. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's not. If you Wait, go on I actually Rogos, thought it was April Fool's as well. Hey, what is that actually on, coming out? Rexy, if you go on Twitter and then go to uh, Jagex Ghost or here, can you show the stream this right here? It's my it. Twitter post on it. Dude. Yeah, I appreciate. It. Yeah, yeah. I Wait, I was sure yeah, it was a joke. He's trying to get some. <laughs> oh no, it's not. It's did you not. see the monster? It looks like shit. <laughs> uh, look, they did some changes. That's why I want you guys to check out the ghost tweet because he's already done some changes and it looks a bit better. Dude, Still I was kinda... sure it was April yeah. Fools. What? Nah, man. Yo, you gotta you gotta snap out of it, bro. You're not dreaming, man. <laughs> okay, so let's let's nah. take a look. So this is an actual thing they're bringing out. Yeah, you can read what he said too. If you That'll want. tongue your butt, time. dude. dude this, this, this is a lot of <laughs> no. reading. So on the left side, that's the R3 version. <laughs> it's a lot of reading. Rachel's uh, like, yeah. <laughs> on the left side is the R3 version. On the right side is the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the like, too much reading, huh? That's yeah. too much reading, man. I can't. Right, so, so, the, dude, so the right like side that. is the old school <laughs> boss, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay, you can scroll down a bit more. There's, there's, uh, there's other posts. Make you shut up. Make you shut the fuck up, dude. You're so dumb trash. Look at, look at it, dude. <laughs> all right. I'm uh. Oh my god. He's gonna have an I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's going Did you look at my post? Or? I'm sorry for me. I'm sorry that you I have to. I just mute myself and keep laughing. <laughs> What was he laughing at? I'm confused. I don't know. What you dude, said. You what? said it was too much. <laughs> it was way too much to read, dude. It was like a fucking. It was like a couple paragraphs, man. I'm not reading that. You can read it if you want. Yo, this one we need Mika's webcam. Why don't we let I'm Mika sweating. read it? I'm sweating, dude. Shut up, man. <laughs> Mika, shut the fuck up. Meet your mic. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, we need to play that Joji song, bro. <laughs> we do, we do. Oh my god. Community PvP updates, old school RuneScape. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> Promoted. Oh god, dude. My pits are sweating, dude. This fucking sucks. Uh, Mika, yeah, do you want to read shower. it? You want to read Never this, Never before have I made three men cry in the same <laughs> call. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, read what? Yeah, I got you, dude. Wait, Hold so up. if you go down, you can see Fuck, the arena. How do I see this? Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, I'm that is a lot of it. Oh, f that's long, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a bit long. <laughs> quite a few... Wait. Just leave it still. All right. <laughs> I'm glad that quite a few of you... Come... You missed high. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm glad that quite a few of you like the feedback changes. It goes to show- I cannot see, dude. I need glasses. I'll <laughs> say, oh, so you're laughing at me. You can't even read the first fucking dude, line, dude! Come on! Dude, come on, man! Jesus! This shot right now of what I see, okay? Hold up. Dude, I'll fucking read it if it's gonna be this painful <laughs> yeah, to listen to. you read it, you read it. I'm glad it. that quite a few of you like the feedback changes. I can't be fucked to read this, man. I think it's RuneScape free. Is it RuneScape free? No, 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 it's no. Not. The okay. one, the one that looks like it's gonna like ass is uh, old school. It goes to show the value of feedback from the community. Thank you all. I'd like to add a new giant reward item to the chest, as some of you have suggested. But it adds a layer of technical complexity that could impact the testing of our game. So I'm unable to. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to address a few of the concerns that I've read. The mimic is uh, represent present across a lot of fantasy games, often taken on the form of a chest. There is also one in RuneScape Free. Some of you feel the OS Mimic is too similar to RS3 Mimic, so I've attached an image RS3 Mimic and an image of the OS Mimic for comparison. Holy shit, I didn't even mess that up. God damn. Hopefully the differences between these two Mimics are more apparent. Uh, here are both in OS simplistic design style and limited rendering quality and color plat. Is that plate? Plate? You don't have to read. You can, you can no, just but, summarize. No, I mean, a lot of this is just like book words. How, how do you sp how do you read this word? What is it? Plate? Can is you can you read? It? <laughs> <laughs> is it plaque? Is it? No, no, I can't it. see. No, no, it's me, uh, pal pale. 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 Is it better? Is it better? No, it's called Packy Bell. Color palette. 
To the yeah, best of my knowledge, no other game has a chest mimic with tentacles, and this is unique to OS. Uh, some people thought the boss doesn't resemble a chest. Tentacles cracking? What? This stuff, I don't really care about any of this. I'm not going to lie. When the boss comes, we'll see if it's good or not. But I don't really want to read well, this. I, this I, just I sounds, tongue, dude. This just sounds like his concerns and like the community's concerns. Well, you have it's to scroll chance. down. Like, like, uh, Just exit out of that post and go down. So you Can, can see anyone hear an echo, by the way? Okay, so go down a bit more before you click on that one. Go down a bit more. All right, that looks kind of cool. Because this, this... That's, the, that, that's the new one. That's the new one. See the original. Okay. Is it Yeah. Is it the settled thing or... And, uh, he'll have it on his, uh, um, yeah, yeah look at the, one. the one that Settle tweeted, because it's the same, he basically retweeted a post. Okay. That's the original, yeah. And, and if you zoom in, you'll see, like, it does. It definitely doesn't look old school at all, right? Like, no, that, that, that really isn't old school, you're right. See, I, 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 I thought that was an April Fool's joke, I didn't even, like, read or anything. That'd be really detailed for an April Fool's joke, you know? Yeah. What the fuck is this, though? <laughs> Yeah, they I said, thought, isn't Kraken a tentacle monster? Like it's a it's a big ass tentacle thing, right? I mean, it, that... it's an octopus monster, dude. Yeah. What the, what the fuck is on an octopus? It's a squid Arms? monster, dude. Yeah. So no, what, but it, what, what is this boss, and why are we getting it? Like, what's it to do? Um, with? it's it's related to the new crew scroll expansion. They it didn't patches PVP oh. updates. It, it's just yeah, they did not added. explain how you're gonna fight it, and like you know what are the requirements to get in there and stuff, but. They were just teasing at that new boss because it, it it passed, of course, you know, as always. So, yeah, it, it's it's just like the design, the environment, right? It it's so detailed. It's like weird. I'm like, it's, I it felt like I was looking at R three for a second. The graphic, it's yeah. it's insane. Like the the gold coins, like I, maybe it was just too much shit in the room. There's just like too much detail going on. But yeah, it threw me off for a bit. I was like, wait, that's old school. Is that it's like April Fools, right? But it, yeah, they got yeah. rid of the the background for the floor though. They added okay. some wooden. Floor. When when I saw yeah. this picture, I I thought that somebody had photoshopped mod ash here. That's why I just instantly closed it. And I was like, okay, they're just memeing. But this is actually for old school. That's interesting, I suppose. So they're planning on changing it to the wooden floor. Yeah, you're right. I like yeah, this. and then if you scroll up, you'll see the changes already. That, that was looks weird. a bit better. It's shit in the coins, but. I like love that. doing clue scrolls, but I feel like clue scrolls are so. Um, it's already so popular, you know. Yeah, so there's I, so there's many. Fun it's fun to do, but the, you don't get a much out of it. So if this has something to tie up clue scrolls, and you got the druid coming in, I'm all for it. Uh, yeah. I actually had a really dumb idea on how to get clue scroll items out of the game. If you guys want to hear it, what? So what if you it? just take, boy, <laughs> if you just take <laughs> ten of the same items, right? And you put you make you turn it into like a smaller item you put on your pet. Oh, oh man! You're right, I mean, it would just take by the game. It would it take, just take a lot of people. depth time. You say put it on put it on your pet. How about just... fix yeah. what we have in the game right now? Yeah, instead yeah, of exactly. Yeah. Stupid shit. Hey, yeah. hey, I am not a Jmod. I am <laughs> not in charge not... of this shit. I'm just giving my yeah, goddamn dude. opinion, Mika. Someone yeah, put I mean... someone put the best suggestion in the chat. You see that elk. <laughs> Out. I like that. Yeah, I agree. If it's metal armor, it's a decent amount of outs, you know, a few K, 10 K. But yeah, but it'd be cool. Like, you know, a little calf, you take like 10 of them, slam them on your back. Yeah, but that's it. Takes, it. Like, I, don't, I don't think it's anything. Game. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's too important of an update. No, not really. Well, I just want to mention so the, many of the one item that there's yeah. no value in it. So, yeah, I, I feel like honestly, last thing I want to say is like, cruise girls are already insanely popular. So I don't exactly why, don't see why they have to make it even more popular. You know what I'm saying, it's yeah. it's kind of like it's already so good. What do it's you, not that it's gonna make it more it? popular, which it it will not. It definitely, that, but will it's will adding that. more onto it since if something's so popular, it's so you might much as well stuff. expand on it, right? I mean, it just feels like Slayer, bro. You know, it's it's kind of like now we're just people love Slayer people. though. It's yeah, yeah, but you're making you people, put more Slayer bosses. But you you're, you're making game. people get too used to the fact that everything needs to revolve around Slayer. It re it removes choices. You know what I'm saying for people to do other things. No, I agree. But so, like, I feel like Clue Slayer. Scrolls is kind of like that getting there, right? Where, like, it's just everybody has to do Clue Scrolls or they feel left out. Type of How deal. dare they have fun in this game? Fuck them! Let's take all the clues out. Let's do it. No, nah, it's not about them having fun, per se. It's just that the choices are limited and it becomes meta scape, right? Everybody's doing the same exact thing and there's no variety, right? So... Isn't that what it... Ha well, it's not going to be forever, though. It's always a meta when an update comes out. Hydra was meta, right? The Conar no, Slayer no, is not, now not meta. Not just, right? like, a specific monster meta. I'm talking about, like, Slayer is the meta. Not just Hydra. 
you know? I know, but I clues just, are always going to be done whether there's a new update or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. Though. That, I'm talking about more and more people focusing on that one piece of content rather than having variation, you know, different play styles, right? So, but yeah, it's it's a small thing to know. I don't want to get too deep into this because right. that's another topic for another time, so. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Are you so <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's not your girlfriend, dude. It's not your girlfriend. Kelly Banner. Let's Shall take her out. Twitch Twitch comments. Comments. Let's take her out, dude. Someone just said Soda oh, Mission God. waved to me, and then he replied to the person in the chat. I'm assuming that's his girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to they're gonna play it now. Fuck. Yeah, so uh, you guys want to read some comments, or... Read what? Well, the else? chat. The chat's comments. Yeah. I mean, right. yeah, let's, right. let's answer some questions from the chat, I think. Chat, yeah, sure. I think each one, each person should pick one, right? Let's, man, let's man, has no clue what he's saying. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I read mine. That guy's right, <laughs> bud. <Okay>. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, all right, yeah, let's just take turns, you know, picking out something. Who's have next? You, okay, have you guys talked about the Tebow glitch yet? We have. Yeah, we, last, yeah, this, yeah this, right. By the way, guys, chat, this podcast, we upload every Sunday onto the Old Screenscape podcast channel. You can literally click the link, which is in chat right now. Go and subscribe if you've enjoyed the podcast. We talk about basically anything RuneScape related. We have different guests on every week. Unfortunately, this week we've landed with these two. Uh, yeah, usually we're, the we're guests trying are to get Jabrim. Okay. We're trying to get Jabrim, dude. <laughs> but yeah, oh, if, you, if you guys want to subscribe to the Old Screenscape podcast channel, go ahead, feel free. Uh, yeah, guys, let's get some questions in then. What do you guys want to answer? Who, who would win in an IRL fight between all of them? That's, that's what Robert said. Racy. You think me? Yo, I would just run away, dude. Hey, I have like seven years of running experience. Our, our... <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, so, have you seen a giraffe fight? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, Smacking you with my neck, dude. <laughs> you might, you might have an advantage there. <laughs> you're, you're pretty tall, right, right, man? Aren't you like six foot four or something? Yeah, but I'm also very gentle, so I would die. Okay. Dude, dude no, yeah, 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 bro, he, he, he's got this <laughs> lean, mean, like, nipple-twisting, like, move. He'll kill you, dude. Yeah, oh, maybe if I'm drunk. drunk. Get me oh, drunk, I'll start grabbing nips left and right. He's gonna do some junk game master shit and just rip your nipples off. I, I, I'm six foot three, right? And I remember there was this guy in school. His name was Nick. He's a very good friend of mine. And uh, I remember he said to me one day, because obviously he was a little dude, and I'm six three, so I kind of towered him. And I just remember one day he just looked at me, and he was like, the taller they are, the further they fall. <laughs> the like, harder they fall. Yeah, the yeah, harder, harder they fall. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And I was just like, God fucking damn it, dude. I was like, you got He's me. He's going to kill me. <laughs> He's going to fuck me up. <laughs> have, you guys, have you guys ever been in a fight? I could tell you a story. Uh, I've, been in, I've been in a decent amount when I was young. Oh, damn. I don't want to flex. I don't want to flex. I don't want to flex. Before the RuneScape days took over, you know? <laughs> all right, should we all tell a fight story? Meek is probably... Got a couple Dude, because like, I found my pizza yesterday. Like, <laughs> because like, this lady down the street give me the eye. And then I fought her, dude. dude it was XP no, wasting my time. Guys. Yeah, let's t- let, you guys want to tell a fight story? I'm down. Yeah, get- yeah, one, one I'm each. I've been in a fight. I, I, I can... I've been in a fight. Really? Wait, really? Never? Yeah. Okay. I was pretty tall in school, so like no one ever pick a fight. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Get out of I'm a nice guy. I mean, I'm, I'm a nice I'm, guy, dude. I'm taller than you, man. I get trouble all the time for being tall. Like people just, you know, you get little man syndrome. You get like little guys that want to prove themselves. If I got a night Maybe out, it doesn't matter where it is, man. I always get trouble with somebody just because I'm a big dude. But, um, <laughs> I, I'm I more flex. Though. I'm pretty We're skinny. We're flex, but all right, man. Oh yeah, you're skinny. I, I, I guess I'm. I'm yeah. not skinny, dude. I'm a thick boy. So yeah. that, that might be why, man. It might be fat shaming. Feels bad, but um, I can't do it. No, it's thick shaming, bro. When I, thick shaming. If, Difference. When when I was younger, I used to hang around with my older brother a lot, which was bad. Uh, he was like three years older than me, and obviously, I get I got to know his friends and whatnot. So I'll be honest. When I was in school, man, I got beaten up a lot because I hang Ooh. out with my brother and his you know older friends. And um, this was year seven, so. This is like, as soon as you get into secondary school, or for you Americans, it'd be like high school. Um, there were these free kids. I remember I just came out of the canteen. I had my bag of red chili heat waves Doritos, and I had like a little sandwich. So descriptive. That's yeah, yeah. amazing. It, it, it was great. And I, I was walking along, and all of a sudden, these free kids that were three years older than me barged into me, slapped my Doritos out of my hand. My Doritos That's fucking, like some anime shit. Yeah. Everywhere, Doritos everywhere, and they pinned me up against this wall, right? And, and kissed they kissed you? No, they, they, 
they started laying into me. So one of them was like strangling me and the other guys were punching me. And these were like my brother's friends that were like older. It, it was a mis misunderstanding. Well, it wasn't really. My brother stole a BB gun off of them. And they Ooh. came after me because I was his brother. Um, but me being like the little shit I was, I was really pissed at the fact they knocked my Doritos out my hand. So after they'd done beating me up, they were walking away. And I shouted abuse at them because they knocked my Doritos on the floor, man. I was really upset about those Doritos because they were like 50p. And I didn't have any more money for more Doritos. Do you know what I mean? I was hungry. <laughs> and um, one of the kids, one of the kids, one out of the three was fuck. He was nuts. Like he was actually crazy. And he ended up chasing me around the school. And luckily I found a bunch of six formers. And if you don't know what six formers are, they're basically like the adults of school. They're still in education, but they're like a step below college. And I just remember running through this group of six formers, falling to the floor, and uh, this kid was chasing me, and they pinned him back, and he didn't get to me. But, yeah, that wasn't much of a fight, I guess. Like, they just beat me up, and my neck was, like, all... You know when you get strangled real bad, and your neck's, like, all red and bruised and shit? I, I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, my, okay, my neck okay. was bad. That kid I got see. expelled. That guy <laughs> got expelled. The other two Good. got suspended. Yeah, that's that's a little fight. So I got beaten up. Now they're working at Taki Bell, dude. You won. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, who's next? I guess I guess who's next? I suppose. I, I mean, you've had so you many rice, right? right? Uh, oh, yo, rice. You want to go? Let's see uh, rice's nah, story, you, dude. We'll be nah, a hero. Okay, right? okay. All right. So I, I I didn't used to live in America. I used to live in like a rural area in China. So it's like a farming village, right? But I'm just describing the scenery, right? So so most of what I did when I was younger, what it, like, what it smelled like. It's just smell like nature, bro. It smell like fucking rice fields, dude. But <laughs> anyways, nice. right? So so there wasn't much to do. A lot of times we just hang out with like neighborhood kids and we just like do stuff together, right? It'd be like, but it, it, anyways, I, I don't exactly remember what caused it, but one of my neighbors that I used to hang out with, we usually hang out like a group of three or four or whatever, but but like we get rowdy with each other a lot. Like sometimes we'd be like, um, just just trying to, I, I don't remember what it was, hey, but what? sometimes we talk shit. Uh, you know to each other and we get pissed and we start fighting or sometimes we hog hog something and they don't want to share they don't want to share hog, like dude? like like you don't want to share like bird. food or like you know some sort of toy oh, gotcha, or whatever, gotcha. right? okay I'm so sorry, so like sorry. at some point like th this guy this kid I, I don't i don't remember him anymore but he just pissed me off so much like i think he either spat at me or he punched me or he talked like he was talking mad shit and i i just got so pissed i was a, i was a bit bigger than him but like i got so pissed Basically, what I did was I grabbed his hoodie, I wrapped it around his head, and then I I, I banged his head on the wall. <laughs> yeah, and, and then and I did it like twice. Yeah, I did it like twice. Inferno. Okay, and and obviously there were people around, right? So like some of the parents that they everyone knows each other, right? So their parents, not his parents, but somebody else's parents saw. And I had to fucking dip, you know, because I knew I was gonna get my ass snitched on, and my mom was gonna whoop my ass. So yeah, I got my ass whooped, you know, because obviously they found out, right? But yeah, yeah, it's just so the that's one. The real fight was between you and your mom. <laughs> no, I, there was no <laughs> fighting. I, 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 I mean, all I do is run away from my mom because she would just hit me with a spring cleaner, and I'm just fucked. Holy shit! Dude. But yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, dude, it's wild, dude, wild days. But anyways, Rare. yeah. What about I'm done. you? What about you, Solo? Did you have any like? We're good here. You know, any quarrels with uh, other giraffes fight, when you were chowing down on some grass or anything? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a no. I don't know. I, nothing. I, I never. It's not grass. It's a tree leaves. How? Where are you? From? Like, like, you're all... from like London, man. I thought London was rough. No, I'm, I'm from not. I'm, I'm, from, like, I'm from Chester. I'm from like the northwest. It's yeah, not, that's not real. Is that not like Manchester? That's like rough, isn't it? I just... Not it's not too far away, but it's I don't know. Chester. Just like it's just like not not like a serious fight. Like I don't know. I just like it was like a Yu-Gi-Oh match, you know. I'm I'm, not, I'm never gonna start a fight. Um, okay. No one's you're just standing there, there fixing your clothes, like, come on, bro, come yeah, on, bro. And he's doing yeah, that shit, and it's just like, fucking, come on, bro. I, I like that, man. Come I, at me. I'm the same as you. I've never started a fight. I can honestly say that hand on heart. I've never started a fight with anybody. I've been in a lot of fights, but I never started one of them. I think that's a good thing to take away, for sure. What about you, Mika? Nope. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you really think I would? Do, do you really think yeah. I would have a fight with someone, dude? Yeah, you're but PK, dude, bro, you're in demo mode. You could be the nicest person in the world, but there's always assholes that start. You know, yeah. it's like there, there, there was always assholes, but I don't know. I never had problems with anyone because I would always help everyone. So I don't know. 
Like I know. Oh, nice guys. Nice guy, <laughs> <man. laughs> so, yeah. well, uh, they help them get the lumberage, huh? The only person yeah. I always <laughs> fought with, the only person I always fought with was my sister, because yeah. <laughs> like you don't want to have older sister dude. that's all I, that's all you need to know but yeah okay nah, I, outside of that nah okay what, what about you min all right so i've been so my fights Easter. were never like brawls they were just like you hit them and you know it's over right but the funniest one i would have to say was when i was in junior high and i can slightly remember it because my friend invited me over it wasn't school time it was like outside his house and they were playing tag football right or touch football and he's like, dude, you want to play? I'm like, fuck yeah, I love fucking football. But I was like, freak yeah, dude, you know. And we were playing. And one of the kids, I didn't know anybody. He's like, who's this guy? He, had, he hadn't hit puberty yet. So he sounded like Justin Bieber. Who's this guy? And he started talking mad shit on me for no reason the whole time. And um, they were winning. I think we were winning. But he was talking shit like I dropped the ball or something. So we're huddling up because he's on the other team for tag football. And I'm like, hey, dude. That guy's talking mad shit. And he goes, yeah, I know, man. You know what? Get him. I'm like, all right, what if he doesn't get the ball? He's like, just take him out, dude. Whatever. Fucking do what you got to do. So pretty much he doesn't even get the ball, right? <laughs> He's sitting there. Height doesn't get the ball. And I do this to his forehead, all right? This is his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Kick the shit out of the kid's forehead, and he didn't even. See, he was crying the whole time, and my friend's like, "What the fuck did you just do?" And I'm like, "He told me to get him." <laughs> and he goes, "Not like that." Uh, you kicked him in the he, head. Yeah, I just kicked him right in the goddamn so, head. So he was the football, uh, and he didn't talk shit at all after uh, that. <laughs> yeah, they made me go home. Actually, after that, they're like, they're like you can't play with us anymore. Yeah. And me and my friend were like, all right, let's go back and play some risky. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, there yeah, are pe there are people that deserve to be punched. That's the bottom line. You know like what I mean? Kicked? Maybe not kicked. I I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> I'll give you a scenario where a guy deserved to be punched. I was a little, well, I wasn't too little. I was younger. I was hanging out with my older brother and his friends again. And we just came out of a bomb shower. Now, I don't know if you Americans know well, what a bomb shower is, but here in the UK, we I, have- I know what a bomb shower is. Okay, so we have really old, I live in the country. So I used to spend a lot of time down the fields making dens and stuff. And there are like old abandoned bomb showers that we broke into and we'd hang in and like, you know, we, we just have are a good Are you sure time. you want to tell us that? Well, yeah, everybody went in there. It's illegal, right? I don't, no, I don't, okay, it's dude, it's just a building. It was just an old bomb shower. We used to start okay. fires. We used to do all sorts in those bomb showers. Jesus but anyways, Christ. Dude, so used, it's yeah, abandoned, man. Right? Yeah, complete. Well, yeah, since like the World War One or two or whatever, like very abandoned. But um, okay. one of my brother's older friends, I remember I was just walking along and out of nowhere, I just felt someone hit me in the back of the head. And I, I remember I just turned around and looked at him and he just had this massive fucking like, like the bark of a tree, like a fucking log. That he just smacked me in the back of the head with. And <laughs> I know. And he was just holding it there, like grinning at me, holding this fucking log above his head. And I just I just remember I just looked at him and I just punched him straight in the face. And then he ran home crying and he never tried it again. That was the end of. But like, that's like a prime scenario of somebody that de deserves to be hit, you know? He was just stood there looking at me, smiling with a massive log above his head. He just fucking smacked me in the back of the Swede with it. Like, for no, <laughs> for no reason. For no fucking reason, dude. Dude, I like, I like the terminology. The Swede. Like, the Swede, yeah. boy. Anyways, uh, uh, I said we wrap yeah, up the podcast. Yeah, that's what yeah, yeah, uh, we, we, we went from reading questions to, like, not, not reading questions. So, no, no, the, the questions were... You got Justin is asking yeah. something that's... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, let Mika, let, let Mika read that. Right, Mika, Question for anyone. What do, you, what do you guys think? People are consistently talking about changes into the seasonal when clearly they don't have the final perfected. Should they spend more time on the tourney uh, instead of the seasonal changes? He asked that like 20 times, so I guess... Yeah, Didn't yeah, we cover yeah. that so many times? Yeah, though? I mean... like, yeah, they should obviously not kill everyone in the finals. That's it. Like They should fix Fog, <laughs> you know? They just don't do kill everyone how hard can no i mean be? we we i we all <laughs> talk about rotational ideas right like yeah it, it's just <laughs> Shut up, I, I, I think four four demo seasons a year is a little too much you know they could totally you know make it down to 201 and then bring in the clan cup or P, you know king of skills or whatever 
But like PvP All Stars again, like right? They just no, look, that. look, Justin, just watch the yeah. podcast when it goes live on YouTube, mate. We talked and about you'll be it. Set. Earlier. Yeah, we cover uh, everything. Yeah, hopefully somebody will annotate some stuff. Yeah. Right. But... Anyways, let's wrap it up. Mika solo mission. Where can the people at home? Where can the people find you? What are your social medias, my friends? Shout yourselves out. Go ahead, Solo Mission. You first. I don't know. YouTube, subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. No, YouTube, what is your? Come on. All right, YouTube. guys. Should we link them in the Solo Twitch? Mission on YouTube, Solo Mission on Twitch, Solo Mission on Twitch. Can, can a mod That's link them in the Twitch chat? Uh, HNM.com slash models. Right. <laughs> Anyways, we will have both of their the social local medias. The local zoo, giraffe pen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have both of their, we'll have both of their social medias down in the description, guys. Make sure you go check them out. Give them a follow. They deserve it, for sure. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys on, man.